Sorry, put your name. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is uh, a uh, 8.30. Uh, we're starting at 8.35 on Saturday morning, April 15th, um, <clears throat> the Norwalk Charter Revision Commission. And I welcome all of our members this morning. This is the first time that we've had all of us together in person for this work session. So I am delighted to see everybody here. And uh, I know we're going to roll up our sleeves and get a lot of work done. So uh, formally for the roll call, um, um, let's just go start with you, Michael. Uh, here, Michael Woodspill. Tyler. Tyler Fairburn here. Angela Wasuna here. Rick McQuaid here. Patsy Brescia. Steve Mendick. Nita Watford Raleigh. Carl Dickens here. <laughs> Uh, uh, there are no minutes or those formalities uh, on the agenda for this work session, so we're just going to plow right in, and Steve, if you can get us going. Thank you, thank great. you. It's nice to see that there are bodies attached to all the heads. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. First time uh, I, I did a, an event with one of my charter commissions where we had never had a meeting, and I, I was doing a singer-songwriter event. Rick is always asking about my music. Yeah, stuff. I am. And I actually appeared in person at a live outdoor event. And about three or four members of my commission came out and I said, oh, Steve, you have legs. It's, really <laughs> so it's, uh, it's good to be, yeah. it's good to see everybody. Yeah. It's, it's really good. So let's, uh, first of all, I wanted to just do kind of a recap um, of what we did the other night on um, articles one through three, six and nine, and um, talk a little bit about that and, and walk you through the documents. It's all attached to the agenda. Um, and so I, I, I'm not going to go over every page, obviously, but I wanted to point out a few things that still need to be done in this section. One is uh, very near and dear to the heart of the chair, and that is uh, setting the context. Um, I've been busy with other things. Uh, Attorney Murphy and I have not been able to communicate. He's called me, I've called him, he's called me, I've called him. And we will eventually get that taken care of. I hope to work on that this week. Yeah, I'm not sure everybody knows that oh. that is relative to input on um, the charter, uh, the districts, and that structure. As uh, Attorney Murphy was on the um, um, city, he was corporation council years back, and he also represented legally the first and second taxing districts. So we thought he would have some real good insight for us. Um, so that's that reference. Because one of the things we are doing is we are moving the taxing districts from the beginning of the charter, which probably confused everybody in the world we just don't find out where the charter starts, to the back of the charter. And so we thought it was important to set the historical context because they still do play a role and people do deserve to know what, um, what that role is. Then as we flow through the document, I just want to bring your attention roughly page um, six and seven, we have all of these definitions. So, you know, keep looking at the definitions. Some of them are still developing. Uh, I'm using the definitions right now as I consolidate the document. I hope um, by the end of the month, probably the beginning of the first week in May, to give you a consolidated charter to see what the whole thing looks like. Um, there's no one has seen that. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't pulled it together yet. Um, but I, I'm pulling it together and I'm trying to do some, I'm trying to do some um, uniformity as I do that. So I'm using the definitions and going through the whole charter to make sure all the definitions are capitalized and used properly, uh, et cetera. And then any last minute questions and changes, we'll have to take a look at in the first couple of weeks in May before we have to start advertising this for um um, for a public hearing for the trans middle in June. Um, one of the definitions that's still up in, in, in the air a little bit is capital budget items. We're still waiting for our CFO. I think he should be free. I sent him a note the other day um, to make sure that we uh, uh, connect. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what terms to use. I think I've come, I've settled on the term. I'm just clearing it with some of the city folk of calling our elected people, elected public officials uh, throughout the charter. So there's a common term um, for, for that. Um, there's a still a green section around or a shadowed section around the definition of order or motion. I'm not sure those are terms that are used in your council. 
Uh, so I'm trying to confirm that as well. Uh, again, the term official or public official, which is a broader term than elected, I'm still working on that to make sure that works throughout the document. Um, as we go through the document, there are no significant changes until you get to paragraph 2-5. And, and this will um, um, this will address the issue. As you recall, the Board of Education in this room a few weeks ago raised a few questions. They were concerned that the cooperation clause that we had placed in the um, section dealing with the Board of Education was directed at them. I tried to assure them that that was not the case, uh, that uh, since they're a large and, and distinguishable entity from other boards and commissions, uh, I usually place those provisions in, in charters, um, but um, it was not, it was clearly not directed at them. So I took it out of that section and I decided and recommend to you that we place it in 2-5 and 2-5 we kind of set a, a context for openness and, and cooperation and public interaction um, with a general standard re regarding public records, public meetings, open meetings. And I thought that uh, um, with your consent, I would place compliance and cooperation, a general compliance and cooperation clause uh, in that section. There's also one you will see when we get to boards and commissions, maybe departments as well, but in the board and commission section, it's basically saying to members of boards and commissions, um, I try to establish a standard on all the charters that you're there to serve the public interest. You may be appointed by a mayor, or appointed by a council or approved by a council. You may be a Republican or a Democrat or whatever party you may be in. But when you're serving on a board of commission, these are the functions of a board of commission. It could be a regulatory function. And in that case, you better really be focused on being fair and being um, you know, abide by the rule of law. You may be involved in the policy function, maybe in a department related function, but the objective is to serve the public interest, cooperate with each other, cooperate with your departments that are associated with your agency, cooperate with all public officials and private and public uh, and, and the public that come before you. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, I want to call it kumbaya clause, but it really is a, a standard that's really designed to say, look, our charter calls for everybody to work together. It's in the charter. It's not just Miss Manners. It's not just a uh, etiquette book. This is part of our our culture, and we want you to do that. So, so I wanted to just point to your attention. I yeah, wanted to move that there. If that's okay with everybody, it's an elegant way to yeah. solve that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, before you go, uh, yeah, no, please you stop me every week. Colors coded here. So red, green, blue. Are, is there a difference in? Well, the the significant the red lines are the red lines, yeah. whatever color they come but in. Red here, green is, yeah. Green okay. is uh, it's undefined. I have to figure out what I'm doing okay. in that section. It's undefined. Okay. Um, this one on holding elections, I have to talk to the registrars. I just don't think that needs to be in here. Uh, that'll be the next yeah. point we get to. I, I agree with that. Okay. Um, what page are you on right now? Page well, not 18. 18. 18. 18. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to talk to them. I just think that that's got to come out. Um, none of our election procedures are governed by our charter. They're governed by Title IX. Right. So um, that's kind of my um, my view on that. Um, okay. So then the so blue is, is. Yeah, it's kind of blue. Is, is, it's up in the air. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next change you'll see I made is in 3-3. You'll see the elimination of the treasurer and the city sheriff. I'm sorry, no, uh, the treasurer right. and the three selectmen. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, and then I have a sunset provision because we have to account for the fact that there is an election this November. They're going to mm -hmm. be elected. Yeah. So they're not being eliminated in the middle of their term. They'll be eliminated when their term ends. And, yeah. and totally okay. yeah. submitted to the yeah. state for yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. the election. Yeah. And, and a probate judge is under. State. State. state it's not in the charter it's interesting that you very rarely see some some charters do have them for some reason but because they're an independent office they're uh not there registrars on the other hand which are yeah. mandated by the state are in local charters yeah. even though they're not I on the to double yep, check they're them. not on the municipal cycle they're on the state cycle yeah. uh for elections uh, etc so um but do you think that section needs to be in the charter or the sunset provision i mean it's such a temporary 
Well, I think I have a provision. I think we should probably put in the charter that anything that is a once a sunset provision, it, well, it has to be in the charter mainly because it's uh, in order to define what happens in the, it should be in the charter. There's no other place to put it. We can't simply have a note yeah, saying, no, don't forget to take care of this. No, uh, I, I just position. wonder, it just seems. Yeah, no, look, I think that um, in one, I'm going to put a note in here that upon satisfaction, I put it in another provision of this provision of, upon completion of the time frame. Um, this section may be moved from the this may be removed the from the charter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, people who don't understand the whole process, uh, this is, I think, uh, important for them to be able to identify it quickly. I usually put a provision. The corporation council has to issue an opinion that yeah. these, the terms have been satisfied. Yeah. And then you can take it out. So I'll, I'll add that language here. Uh, I think you're going to see that in E, which is a transition period. Um, the um, but you're talking, you're recommending the whole section C come out? No, 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 no. no. Just the sunset provision. Oh, okay. Just the sunset oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So oh, okay. just, just that. Oh, all yeah. right. I misunderstood. Yes. Yes, obviously. Then in D, you'll see the mayor with the two four-year term. And then in E, there's a, this is the transition language. This is the language where we say that there needs to be a transition office. And then F is, uh, we can look at this, take a few minutes to look at it because we didn't have the language last week. You're talking about E? E and F. Yeah. Okay, any comments on E? Yeah, please take a minute to read them. Yeah, I, I have read it and I had uh, a question on the last line mm -hmm. where it says, if any, you know, give uh, information and training materials, yeah. if any. Yeah, I didn't if I wanted to mandate it, make yeah. it an absolute mandate. That's why I put if any. Yeah, well, I strongly suggest it. You know, yeah. it's I, your call. Your call. I, personally, I think it's important to establish it in in that format, formal posture. That's my personal. Opinion. I didn't feel comfortable. I'm, I'm not. If, yeah. I, if I had a vote, I'd be voting with you. I okay. just didn't feel comfortable yeah. making that decision. I don't know if anybody else picked up on Yeah. That. Well, the other thing, too, is uh, mayor doesn't take office the 1st of January. Well, we, we, we changed that. This is we changed that. We did change that. Yeah. Changed that while you were in Florida. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't thinking about January. The business but, day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the first business day. Yeah. 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 Truth. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Any other well, comments? I guess the, the question yeah. is, are there training materials? I mean, there are none. There are, but this would. This, this is this saying would, that it should be. This mm. would create. It will be. Then I would suggest taking out, if any. Yes, that's, that's what you just said. It means yes. to create. Oh. Yes, that's, that's, yeah, that was my suggestion. So uh, anybody else want to in, input on that idea? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Everybody else? Yeah. Michael? No. You good? I'm okay, man. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable yeah. myself writing it that way. Because it creates a burden on someone to prepare the training materials, right? Yeah. Yeah, because there, there's nothing. There are none. There's no and formal there process. Be, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's easy enough to do, um, yeah. uh, but but it's very hard. I, I prepared uh, for one of my towns, which I were named nameless, I prepared uh, uh, materials, training materials for their legislative body. And every time uh, we go to present them, the leadership of the body says, oh, this is 70 pages, it's much too much. No one's going to read these. I said, they were just elected to serve this community. They can read 70 pages. It just walks you through Robert's rules, things okay. like that. I mean, you know, whatever. So God bless. I hope they can pull it together. But we'll take it. <laughs> yeah. If any, we'll come out. So we're in agreement with if any out. Oh, okay. Uh, F. F is the um, restriction on what the mayor can do after the election if the mayor is not succeeding to a subsequent term. I went with a very simple one. I, I've had there's some elaborate ones that I think just get too much in the weeds. So take a look at this and see if that yeah. works for you. But the only question I had is in the second to the last line, uh, this provision shall not be construed to stay. Yeah, to stay any pending stay is a legal term to yeah. to uh, I, 
to uh, stop. stop. Yeah, but uh, is yeah. that clear to the public is my my issue? Um, to is there a better uh, interrupt, to um, stop. Stop. Wow. <laughs> stop. Or stay and then parentheses to stop. And if you want to keep the legal wording in there. Stay or delay or... Um, I, I would probably put delay. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you really delay. can't do that. Yeah. Seems to yeah. flow better. Delay? Yeah. Delay. I think so. Yeah. Mm. yeah delay. All right. Delay or interrupt. Or delay. Got it. <laughs> Good, thank you. It could also be interfere. Uh, yeah. But delay is fine, I think. Is delay okay? Mm. Is there any pen Michael, here? counselor? Good. Uh, uh, you know, it's delay. Right. Delay? But yeah. And well, I got another lawyer here who can. I'm his paralegal. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good to have a yeah. non lawyer. No, non lawyers are good too because yeah. you know how to read better. <laughs> we got it right. Just so everybody line. understands. You guys have been indoctrinated. After uh, other executive level appointees, is it committee or committee or board member or? Yeah, it, committee it should be a uh, commission. Oh, no. Or. Commission or board member. Or board member. Commission or board member. Um, and then does this. Or employee of the city? I think that's a bit pilot. What, Michael? It's like, or employee of the city. Okay. All right. And then, I, does this allow for just a, a normal, uh, kind of typical disciplinary process if there's a an issue? I mean, I, I no. That's why I said that's it, it's not construed to stay any pending actions that are taking place. Um, I think that the presumption is that if you took the action after election day, before your, the end of your term, right, it could be political. So if there is an action that was taken, what, what it's going to do is if the mayor wants to be nefarious and, and political. It forces you to take the actions in September or October right. and not wait till you lose. Right. And and is it important to have the word days capitalized? It's a defined term that's okay. 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 Yeah, it, it looks awkward. I realize yeah. that, but it's a defined term. Okay. Okay. But so say say after the right, we're within the 60 days now after the election, and there's some kind of uh, HR violation that would otherwise be dealt with. We could put unless there's an exigent circumstance, um, but who's who's the overseer? Right, you don't want to have a free for all right, of those right, sixty right. days. No, I got it. Would so, the council come to play? The council's lame duck also is the problem. Yeah, you know, everybody's a lame duck. So, uh, what we, and the corp council? You can go to the corp council. The people can say, well, the corp council is the mayor's appointee. So, who's the? I, I see your point, right? I mean, but who's you the want to get into a situation where you're within those two months yeah. and someone's whatever, they're not showing yeah. up to work, they're harassing right. people, and now it's, well, you can't punish me because it's the charter says, yeah. but within the 60 days. It, Is there a term, unless legally unavoidable, unless... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. of the, unless otherwise yeah. violating HR policies. I mean, I feel like there's certain legal... Uh, work protection. So. Unless legally required... To do so, it, yeah, yeah, at least, yeah, because then anything the mayor does would have to meet that standard. That I have no choice but by law to do this. But I have an employee yeah. who assaulted another employee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No one within sixty days, I, yeah. we need to deal with it. Yeah, address right. by law, but could it also be policy? I mean, I'm thinking HR policy, established policy. I mean, it's not just law, right? I mean. I mean, this doesn't supersede any policies that the city would already have in place as to Angela's point, right? Mm -hmm. mm. No, but I just want to be sure that that's clear in here so that if somebody were to violate but there is like a, a workplace policy, right, that right, there's right. a process to deal with it outside of... Yeah. And it should okay. refer to the HR policies or the policies of the city. Yeah. Yeah, policies of the yeah, city. It's and less about... <clears throat> any pending committed... Commence at least 60 days prior to or in violation of existing pending. law. Or right here, I got a way of dealing with it. I have a definition of law at the beginning, <laughs> and law includes uh, the laws of, uh, of, of courts and administrative bodies or agreements sanctioned, sanctioned by the bodies, federal or state legislative enactments, ordinances, regulations, and policies okay, of the city, I will add. Yeah. And there then so I can say, um, unless required to do so by law, yeah. capital L, law. It's mm -hmm. defined earlier. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, yes. I think that makes yeah. a lot yeah. of sense. Yeah. 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 
I'm try, I try to eliminate words wherever I can, but that's good. Excellent, that's a great. I had thought about that. I wasn't quite sure how to deal with it. So good. That's why we have live meetings sometimes. Cool. All right. So that's those are those sections. Those are the things. I want to. I have something on council districts here. Please. This this begins the confusion in many people's minds. So uh, we're saying that the districts can be changed from time to time according to ordinance. And and uh, uh, what's the explanation for or the need to change? What's the basis for changing districts? Um, Baker versus Carr, Supreme Court case. Yeah, that requires, and we convey that to the public. We can do it in our transmittal area. It's not necessary to explain everything in a mm -hmm. charter. Uh, it's no, it's just, that, it's just that <laughs> when we get to the districts, it's always confusing and very sensitive and very political. And so I just feel that we need to explain it or reference it somehow um, well, to make it clear. Is it, is it determined entirely by population? Isn't uh, that what we have to That's what I thought. Right now, yeah. it's it's off. Yeah. We, we, yeah. But so why would you, yeah, the point is, you know, when you're reading it, well, why would they redistrict, you know, mm -hmm. for a lot of political right. reasons? Yeah. Or is it based on population and, and, and the state requirement? Well, it's a federal well, federal, federal requirement. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we say that essentially? Census. I mean, it's so obvious to you, but to we, district people, it's not. We it's not every not ten years. Yeah. Do it in subject to yeah. subject to or subject to the census. Yeah. I'd say subject to state redistricting uh, yeah. rules. Yeah, right. every, you know, we don't get to say when. Right. Exactly. Okay. okay. And is it really by our ordinance? No. You would set it up by ordinance, yes. Yeah, it's it by ordinance. With, uh, right now it's in your charter. But the, yeah, but to yeah. change it, it is an ordinance. It would be done through ordinance, ordinance right. process. Consistent with law and subject to... Is that how all redistricting is done by ordinance or law? We've never redistricted, have we? But we? We do pocket redistricting. What does that mean? Where a street basically isn't straight, so they straighten up the line and things like that. We haven't done a redistricting I, overall since. That's why the maps are so clear. That's why the maps are so clear. Yeah. Yeah, let's not talk. They're much better than they were. <laughs> it's, it's astonishing. I will yeah. make sure that's consistent with the state. Yeah. It's yeah. a final yeah. state yeah. redistricting. Yeah. Explain right. yeah. why, well, you know, The yeah. charter can't explain every know little that, thing. That's, I know that it can, yeah. but I also know the feeling in our community and that this is a very sensitive, misunderstood what? environment that we're dealing with here. Right. So anything Maybe. that we can do to clarify, I think is important. Yeah, I would agree with that because there's mass confusion around yeah. the existing way it's done. Well, it hasn't been done. It hasn't yeah. been done. That hasn't been done. But I, but, but to your point, I mean, every election, I mean, yes, it's the year, it's been done. Yeah. So let's keep that. Yeah. I'm shocked that it hadn't been challenged in all those years. Yeah, that never the, mentioned. Never been. Never mentioned. Yeah, it's so. just amazing. But uh, you know what I'll do? And you I think the easier way to do it is to put a note in the footnotes indicating redistricting is required by federal and state law every 10 years. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, so, there you go. And I can yeah. reference that. in order to meet the constitutional standard, right. one person, one vote. Yes, that is yeah. it. It's good. A little civics lesson. Uh huh. What's that? The constitutional standard, one, one person, person, one no, vote. I'm being a smart. Yeah. Oh, it's civics. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. It's interesting. I, I had this conversation with a high school classmate of mine oh, just last God. night, and we were talking about. Uh, this class that both of us took in our senior year in high school called Problems in Democracy. Mm -hmm. And I was telling him how I carry it through that my- In high school? In high school, Problems in Democracy. There's a senior uh, high school course and all of my political albums are called Problems in Democracy, volume one. You know, I'm up to volume seven now. <laughs> uh, and I, it was Mrs. Scholar, may she rest in peace. Yeah, oh, you uh, remember that. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. And I've been using that for all my uh, political <laughs> uh, commentary for years. Okay, so okay, we'll that's fix good. that. Yeah. Anything else in that section? Uh, the boundaries of each district may be revised. We say with may. 
Uh, I guess they shall be revised. But yeah. I mean, uh, the reason I, I have May, well, huh? the reason I, no, no, I get it. But the, the reason I say May is if they're consistent with, uh, if they don't have to, if they don't have to be, yeah. then it shouldn't be. So, you know. Yeah. Okay. But odds are, with the way things are growing and the way things, oh are no, changing, you're you're going to be changing your districts. Change. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The demographics of you know yeah. everything's changed. Yeah. Now we, the Voting Rights Act is a little more amorphous because that was another reason you changed districts to comply and make sure that you have appropriate representation under the Voting Rights Act. And there's still provisions that still do apply. That's why I'm astonished that there has not been any legal action in that you haven't done this in so many years. That was really. A, Quite amazing to me, but I think it's explained by the fact that we have this district system and it's yep. so parochial and powerful. So we have anyway. a word system in New Haven, and every ten years we change the lines. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> which is very. Just par yeah. I'm just saying, very New Haven is very parochial. I can tell you. Um, okay. So the other thing I want to tell you in these sections, and please read these documents, uh, particularly Angela. Of course, I would like to have her take a look and make sure that everything is. Is focused. I think I got rid of most of the saids and most of the suches. Mm -hmm. uh, I got. I think I've gender neutralized it. I kind of ran through uh, these sections after we uh, approved them the other night. Um, I still think that they need to be read because while it looks like we're doing a brand new document, a lot of this is borrowed from the old uh, old documents. You can't create something new. We have to find. We have to mm -hmm. root it in the law as it exists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So please continue to review and continue to read and, and send your cards and letters. I don't, I read. No, please be my guest. I have no pride in authorship. I work hard at it. I want to make it work. And, and the other last thing I will say to you, I was only once uh, tonight in this morning, it's our first morning meeting, uh, this morning is um, I will be editing this document until the last <laughs> moment that the council approves it in August. Um, I will be editing it. It will it will be as good as it can be when it goes to the council at the end of the month of May or early June. While it's in the council, I will continue to edit. They will send them back to you for your approval. When it comes back to you uh, for the final review, I will be editing it. I'm sure everybody will be on my back and we will be cleaning this up and we will be getting it done. And then they'll have to make their final approvals. Because one of the things the council will say to you in the final go around is I will ask them to do so is to continue to edit and send us back the edits. My hope is that there won't be much, but who knows? We just have to keep doing it until it's over. And uh, so anybody finds anything, do not hesitate to send me an email and let's get it fixed. All right. Um, so there were no new changes. There were really no other changes. Oh, well, wait a minute. On that, uh, to respond to that instruction, 3-5, um, where um let's see what, what happened now uh let's see until the final chapter and the election to fill the off chapter is proceeded in the manner here and provided where 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 are well that's where current. the reference be to in the manner here well I, I i would say i would say in the manner prescribed by state law Okay, and not reference back no, to the section in no, the charter. Because the elections are governed by state law. Okay. And remember, we're going to take yeah. that. Okay. The general okay. statutes. I hope I don't run out of that. Post its. Yeah. I brought okay. the post its. I didn't bring a pen. Okay, so under uh, B, 3-6B, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> again, uh, there's no reference here to the person should be from the same party. And is that the way we want it? Or do we need to discuss that? <clears throat> Just a question, why, why would we want to designate the same party? Well, in other sections in the charter for other places, it is mentioned that it's of the same part, the same party. Um, I just so it's consistent throughout the document. Yeah. Well, is it, it is that what we want, or don't we if care? It's not the same party. We need to have a special election. If it's the same party. They just appoint someone. If, yeah. it's, if it's anybody, you'd have to have right. an election. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. 
And I guess to me, it would be that that's the party that people voted for. So you want it to be the same party because that's the majority of the people voted for that particular person who's part of that. Good party. point. I don't, I don't disagree. And then you're avoiding having a, an election and paying for election. Yeah. And, and most of the uh, town committee rules for the parties state that, you know, what the procedure is. What they do. Oh, and you yeah. stay with the party. Stay with the office. Yeah. So, yeah. and we have that in several other sections. Yeah. So we would add it there or not, Steve? <clears throat> We're taking a look and see where it is. And there'll be a t tension, I think, paid to this section because of recent experiences within our community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 3-5, we never saw it before until Tyler came along. <laughs> <laughs> I threw that in, Tyler. That's fair. <laughs> um, but it's, it's okay, so if we were to put... But it's something in the three six B saying that it's the same party. You're filling the I vacancy. Let me look at party. That's consistent with what we're yeah. doing now, right? That's not a change. It's just right. like we're making sure. You want to clear check in the that's that's right. time? No, no, no right now. Let's do it. And we no, we have had my views. We're here. Let's um, do it. People um, moving the state rep or, and things like that. Be out of district and the I district or John Romano passing away was also another one. So they were all filled by and their party rules state. Yeah. I think it's what we're doing now, and you're avoiding the Expense expense and having yeah. running another election. True. It opens up a whole other can of worms too of special elections and or need. I just wonder if that should. I, I I don't get too wordy with it, but I just wonder if that should be explained. If it just says, I, I just know a lot, even myself, if it just says same party. I mean, his point, that's a very, very good point. But I don't know that everybody would draw that same conclusion. I think it's somewhere in here. That's why I'm picking up. Right. What about here where it says um, it's three, six, I guess it's three, six, three. three? What does that mean? In every case except the office of the mayor, the vacancies will be filled by an elector of the same political party from which oh, where's the former incumbent. Which section so, of the um, Section one. Three six, three six three. Three six B three. three. And that's yep. Yeah. There it is. Okay, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. There. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm swear it's three six B what? Three B uh, uh, three. 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 It, it says except three is three is any other, right? So that would exempt two, which is city council. Right. So you just need and to have three also apply to city council. Correct. Yeah, it seems like it's opposite to me. I don't know. It's why. everybody but the mayor. Every case basically. except the office of the mayor. It's, well, yeah. What it's, it's, it's office is the opposite of what we're trying to say. It's 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 under three. It's in every case except the opposite of the vacancy should be filled by an elector of the same political party from which the former incumbent was chosen. So it does apply to the council. It doesn't apply to mayor. Um, yeah, three looks like it doesn't apply to the council. Yeah, three doesn't, but the sentence under it, which is part of B, it's not part of three. Oh, in every case, the vacancy. Remember, it goes back. It goes back. Oh, to I got the, you. Okay. Goes back to the margin. In every case, except so that. you don't think yeah. that should be com combined with the general category of filling of vacancies? No, it is. It flows no, it covers, it covers the whole. Okay. Yeah, it okay. flows where it's going. Yeah. Okay. No, that's yeah. fine. Do it all. All right. So that lays good. it out and then tells it. Yeah. And then. Why do we really need? I I just still find three very confusing. Maybe I'm just not reading it right. I'll reread it over a cup of coffee. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, I see. I see three, the, the bottom yeah. part that would be the catch-all seems to not apply to three. Because in three, yeah. we're specifically saying it shall be filled from the electors of the city. Yeah. yeah. But every office but, that many. But, it, it, you know, it's not... That means an election, by the way. Yeah. Uh, well, whenever a vacancy occurs, uh, it shall uh, the uh, replacement officials shall be elected by shall be uh, well, by, from oh from, from the electors. Yeah, I think we want to be careful with that too, because then would that imply that the board of ed is separate and apart and would have to go to a full mm -hmm. city election? Right. We don't want to have anything yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I the board of ed uh, they do have districts in the board of ed, don't they? They do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's how they're elected. Yeah. Yeah. So that, well, I'm just thinking who would be the other elected officials other yeah. than the mayor? And the well, then I think maybe you do office of city ed, council and, and board of ed. Constable, well, no more constable or no more. Since the board of ed uh, falls the, in the same way as the council, they have the districts and the uh, yes. large, right. I would say so, office of city council and board of education. Yeah. Yeah. I would, but I would but you that. say elected officials and they are elected they officials. Are. So no, but I'm moving them. I'm creating, you know, I'm creating a category. Yeah. So that the, it's the same as the council. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to have them. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's going to be rewritten. Yeah. So it'd be filled by the uh, members of the council or members of the board from the electors of the city. And then this, the provision regarding the political party at the end applies. Now, the other thing is, yeah. Good, yeah, so that's where that was. Okay. Okay. So now have we dealt with B one? Well, he's gonna re rewrite it for us, right? Okay. The, pres the yeah. president of the council being we have we made a decision even about that being the same political party. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be the same political party. Remember that it does not have to be the same right. political party. If the um mayor is of one party and the council is of another party. Then the president necessarily will not be in the same party as the mayor and succeed to yeah. constitutional office. And that's the exception we that is in the current charter that we've carried through. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty normal. Mm -hmm. uh, even the federal government, the state government, succession, line of succession, at some yeah. point you could, Nancy Pelosi could have been president yeah. so, uh, during the Trump administration. So can we reference that so that it's clear? Yeah. We didn't reference that. I don't. It, well, I mean, as, I don't. as per. Uh, I don't know if you need to. I mean, if, if if what we're saying is the the like finally putting into place something with a succession, I think if we just say that it's the president of the council, that's who it is. Yeah, I mean, but my party uh, yeah, it's the same. Yeah. It would I think it just house. blows the way it's going. Yeah, I really do. You start getting right. into it more, it's going to you know questions. Right. I, that's a perfect yeah, good, I just I just like, mentioned that yeah. suggestion in into. Everything else flows in a different way, and that's the one exception. And so, to explain or reference why that's different, I thought might be important. That's my point. Yeah. You say filled by the president of the council, regardless of party. Well, no, but I don't even as far you're that. saying, there's I mean, it's, a state or general constitutional. It's state. one thing if there's a state con uh, on the Baker versus Carr. I understand that we it's a good thing to put in your in your document. But you can't do an annotation for every section to explain yeah, that this true. is similar to the way it is in Washington or, or Connecticut. But or not something. similar, but determined by. It's not determined okay. by that. Okay. This is, you're you're yeah. doing your own local government, but it's it's not. Okay. It's pretty analogous to what's going on. Okay, I mis I misunderstood what you yeah. said. No, it's not. It's not mandated. Okay, that I I thought you had said that it was. No, I mean for example, I'm. In some community, in your community right now, there is no succession. In your community right now, the council, this table, the people around this table, if there was a vacancy in the mayor, would make a decision about which one of them would be the would mayor. Be the mayor. Yeah. yeah. And, and and there's no rule saying it has to be of any party. And, and you know, a, mm -hmm. a group of Democrats and Republicans could get together and elect a Republican, even though there's a Democratic majority, and vice versa, depending on what it was. So. Right. Anything else in that section? 
this is more nitpick, it's still minor, but um, 36A, where you say whenever any elected public official is elected and for any reason, I mean, I would just say whenever any elected public official for any reason fails, to, there's a bit of a redundancy there. Mm. I would just take out the is elected. Okay, let me hear that again. Whenever any elected, so whenever official. any elected public official is elected and for any reason fails to qualify or a vacancy occurs, assumption is that they're elected, right? So yeah. I would just say I would take out the is elected. It's it's just taking out additional words you don't need. So it would read whenever any elected uh, whenever any elected public official for any reason fails to yeah. qualify is elected. Got it. And all comes. Got it. Tiny. That's the kind of little stuff that we should be looking at. No. Okay. Temporary absence. There were no changes or some capitalizations and stuff like that. And and SEDs taken out. You, you can see the SEDs and touches have been taken out. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to D, this is the Tyler Fairborn amendment. Uh, absence defined in the event the mayor is not able to be or remain in contact with Chief of Staff, blah, blah, blah. the mayor shall be deemed to be absent. Yeah. Is that okay? I like Where, that. Yeah. Where's that? That's, That's in uh, BMD on page 27, absence defined. That's one of the things we discussed at the meeting the other night. And the word shall is great. Yeah. So it's clear. Yep. Um, in F, I think you want to make it clear that upon serving for 30 days as acting mayor, the compensation for serving as acting mayor shall be determined by, or will be determined by. So I just have a question on that and, and process. The mayor's salary is uh, established by ordinance. Uh, is he on the ordinance list? It's by budget. You're doing the budget. He's on the ordinance list. Huh? Okay. I, you know, I I um I had asked for that ordinance list and I forgot to follow up on it. Um yeah, the compensation is not in the yeah. we we had this debate in Stanford just this week, uh, literally the same section. And and it became um very I'll be be careful uh, how I say it. It, it was a lot of prolonged. It was quite prolonged. It was a long and, discussion. And and I didn't explain this. Uh, it's easier to explain sitting around the table than than it was on Zoom. So let me let me try to give you my thoughts on it, because I'm a former acting mayor. I acted as mayor six or seven times, four or five times, or whatever. I can't even tell you. Over four years as president pro tem in New Haven, and there was a lot of discussion about, oh well, you know, if you're going to be acting mayor, you're going to be have your job, and you're expected to be in city hall working full time if there's a real problem. The truth of the acting mayorship is this. I was in my office. Once I got a call in the five times or six times I was acting mayor, oh, we need you to sign a letter because it has to be signed today and the mayor cannot sign it. And we didn't have, this is pre fax, pre email, you know, where you could actually have the mayor sign it and PDF it back and all that stuff. You needed the, or you needed the physical sim signature. It was 1987, 88, 89, 90 in that, in that period. And so to have paid me to be the acting mayor was absurd. Um, the concept of compensation for an acting mayor really kicks in. You know, remember there's a 30 day front time frame where you can't do anything. If you're acting mayor for 30 days or more, there's a real issue with the mayor, then maybe yes, compensation should kick in. The problem with this language, and this is the same language we had in Stanford, because it's pretty standard language that the council, the board of all representatives or the council, shall choose what that salary is, is they can really hold the acting mayor. And it's a prolonged acting mayorship, you know, in oh, a and, and so the question I raised is whether you should establish a per diem uh, right in the charter based on the mayor's salary. Because then you get- had something like that. I read it, something like that. No, I, this is the only place where we address this issue. Yeah. Um, and, and, um, and and uh, and so then we got into the compensation versus salary, and I said the mayor's salary. The mayor gets X dollars per year. Forget about the health benefits and the retirement, if there's a retirement attached to it. it what the mayor's salary is, what he gets, he or she gets paid, um, and create a per diem, and that the per diem would kick in after 30 days or something like that. Um, and but the truth of the matter is, 
in most acting mayor situations, the acting mayor uh, is is collecting garbage if that's what you do for a living, or practicing law, or working in the a stationery store, or or whatever you do, you're going to be doing for them. Except you may want to bring your family in and have a picture taken around the desk. That's the that's what most acting mayors do. I yeah. swear to God. I mean, that's the truth of the matter. It, uh, you're not dealing with the day. Or the mayor really had to be at the blood drive that day. Steve, can you go to the blood drive? No, seriously, that's that's literally yeah, done the same thing. You yeah. my point many times. Yeah, I mean, and I so think I said that I one time they said, "Well, the mayor's away for well, for two weeks," and they said, "Well, what are you going to do?" I said, "Well, I think we're going to invade Darien, something like that." Oh, <laughs> you get to do those kind of. Things. I, I I put a record. I, I, I had mayor's secretary. I tell you the one thing I did do, and, and I should be embarrassed that I did this. I I, um, I didn't even go to City Hall and do it. I dictated it over the phone. Uh, a letter to the Board of Education recommending the termination of the school superintendent. Oh, that's and, true. And, <laughs> and she said to me, you really want me to send this? Because they knew I, there was a Supreme Court case that, over an argument that the two of us had, which we won, by the way. Um, and he was horrible. I said, no, I'm, I just had to get it off my chest. Thank you. Rip the letter up. And that was it. So that was the that was the most I did as acting mayor of the city of New Haven in in, in that period. So my only recommendation here is is to kind of do a per, or leave it and do a per diem, perhaps, um, um, and, and not leave it up to the council because why have that debate? Yeah, yeah, and I think you're right. It, it, yeah, if it reaches a thirty day point. Yeah, there's more to it than just yeah. you know the yeah. mayor right. of the town and mayor. And, and I think just, thirty yeah. days really. Is when you should uh, start thinking about, you know, what you need to do next. Just as a note here, I'm. I had started this because, and I wrote that it was referenced someplace else, so or tied together someplace else. We'll so, look. I'll look. Yeah, we're just looking. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's my. Uh, I a big star there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and no, we. I didn't have time to go back and search for it. I just remember reading it. Now, it, let me tell you something you did that they didn't do. Uh, it, and I think you did the right thing. You have a mechanism now in your charter that you approved when we approved this for determining a disability or absence mm -hmm. yeah. if the mayor doesn't say that she is absent. Yeah. Um, and, and that's the easy part. Hartford now has it. Hamden has it. And you will have it. Stanford uh, chose just to focus on the succession issue. And... Um, and that's their privilege, but you have a pretty robust provision here that that uh, allows for an evidentiary hearing to determine the mayor's incapable of serving. So, uh, yes, please. Three A. If we're finished with what we were doing, yeah, I think so. Sorry. Yeah, I'm done. Um, is there another word that could be used for pecuniary? Fee or this is it's financial consideration. Yeah, and it's relating to money and stuff. So if they're in Bird Smiths, are you okay with financial instead of pecuniary? Mm -hmm. So it's more understandable. Three B. Three, three, eight, three, eight. three eight. eight. Expulsion. Yeah. Three dash. Also, financial is more easier to understand. In the likelihood of enforcing this, this will be interesting. It's a it's a special act. Um, and what it says basically is if you expel a council member for, um, from office, there's restitution, the restitution should be equal to, um, the amount of money, the fee or pecuniary consideration that led to the termination. So, um, the, um, it's a term of art, an ancient term of art, pecuniary. I mean, I understand what it means. And is I get it, it any more? Any more than just money? Yeah. What, what did you? Well, that's say? that's what I was going to say. I mean, Steve Steve knows uh, there have been public officials who've taken wine and suits. Yeah. Uh, right. for, <laughs> yeah. For public. So it may be it's more than financial. Not, not, yeah. not financial technically, but right. But it is. It is yeah. A bribe of value. Yeah. Value. yeah. yeah. And and I mean, I, Clarence Thomas. Well, <laughs> but it all with Clarence Thomas, it all comes down to money. Actually, yeah, I, I guess it is right. I mean, I guess it is yeah. a financial uh, benefit well, if you're. Well, the, I don't know if you're receiving you know, if somebody remodels your home in exchange for I mean, a contract. Say the yeah. word in if it's all encompassing all the things that, yeah. that we're talking about, but. You know what I mean? I, I Do we say it's slash like, financial? It's a non. I think the public would understand financial more than they would this. So let's see sure. if there's a difference. Yeah. Let's just financial will probably help the public. Yeah. 
relating or considering consisting uh, it's relating or consisting of money relating to or consisting of money so right. so financial uh, why how, why don't we do financial or pecuniary and leave yeah, the ancient yeah, yeah. Slash. Okay. Okay. Yeah. i think that, yeah yeah i think your point the day it all comes back to yeah bucks anyway yeah yeah okay yeah that's what they're looking at i would add that because i don't think that uh, that's that doesn't pierce what you have to be careful with special acts is changing the intent of the special act um because a special act, remember, is created by the General Assembly. And so, like, for example, will you have special acts that are unique, like the removal provisions? Um, it, it, it's arguable whether you could actually establish a removal provision in your charter, because is there an express grant of authority giving you that right? It's like recall, and there is a Supreme Court case on that. Um, if you have it in your charter, my argument is you can do it. Um, but it hasn't been tested yet by, by the state of Connecticut. Okay. So just one quick yep. question. Please. Sorry, sorry, going back to the previous page, page 27, around sustained absence. Did, I, did we agree on what, what, how we define sustained? Did we say, so for example, I mean, so, you know, the acting mayor is acting beyond 30 days. Is there, did we say that there is a, it's a time frame where we trigger removal proceedings. I mean, the removal proceedings are there, but the question is, when are they triggered? We say that they'll do it by ordinance. We have. Do we need to provide any guidance there because yeah. we said we said it in E that we, we provide it. If necessary, the council may provide by ordinance a procedure for determining the existence of an absent disability. Blah blah. Mm -hmm. But the question is, should the should the charter provide some time limit for this to be done because we're I leaving it to the council. Oh, for the ordinance to be established. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we're leaving it to the council to decide, to decide yeah. it's how it's long we're right. back for as long as the council, council decides. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's basically my question is do we need to provide any guidance there or would that be overreach? I think it's overreach. I mean, look, I think that you could have you could codify it and define everything here if you want. And, and then, you know, the question is, do you limit the mobility uh, to change it at some point? Um, and, and so... Um, I mean, is there a reasonable time frame for having an acting mayor? Is, is there... But, but I mean, in, in, so the, the line of demarcation is where does a sustained absence lead to, to a decision by the council that to, you need to, to remove exactly a mayor and, and, and should there that's, be some guidance? Exactly, should there be some... That's precisely the issue, okay. yeah. Well, you have that going on with a state senator right now. Our U.S. Senate. That's what uh, they're debating about Feinstein, right? Oh, now. Feinstein. Oh, yeah, that, that is a debate. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, but is there a significance between May and Shell here? Um, is May there just because you only have to do it if this ar issue or right <clears throat> comes so. to be? If they determine and how, that they need to, yeah, and yeah, how I, long I does it so. ta ta take to do an ordinance to deal with it? Yeah, that was my question. How else well, that's the follow-up question to that. I mean, well, I suppose what you could do if you really think it's something that has to be defined as soon as possible is that within six months of the approval of this charter, the council shall. Yeah. Because it, it wouldn't function, I don't think, this language if followed. Well, the temporary would function. The decision on whether... Or, we're uh, leaving it to the ordinance. To we're decide. leaving yeah. the ordinance yeah. what the sustained... Yeah. 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 Because you have the mechanism, we established a mechanism. This is what Stamper didn't do. Yeah. You have a mechanism if the mayor, uh, you know the mayor's sick, it's Woodrow Wilson. You got a Woodrow Wilson. Everybody understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know. Woodrow Wilson and Mrs. Wilson is running the country. So you have a situation like that, uh, which the United States really didn't have a remedy for, except impeachment when it came right down to it. Um, and, and the council is saying, well, this is not right. We just can't let Mr. Jones run the government for Mayor Jones. Let's make it Mrs. Jones is the mayor. And and so you know, yeah, I'm trying to be politically uh, uh <laughs> just update the update the analogy. And and so the um uh we need to do something about it. You have a mechanism for doing something about that. What you don't what the the decision on the ordinance is when is it sustained to the point where you want to remove exactly. Mr. Mrs. Mr. Jones right. from being the active uh, yeah. you know Remove the ban. This is generally from office. And, and I think yeah, I think really about that. You're paying an acting mayor. Like I'm just saying, like, practically. Um, yeah, and and and, but, and 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 look, we have the medical. We have the medical element. Yeah. 
and you can only return if the doctors say you're okay, the same right. two doctors. Right. So, you know, you get to a point where um, <clears throat> it goes on for a long period of time. You know, we're talking about, well, we, were, we are talking about a four-year term. Yes. You know, the world we're creating is a yes. four-year term. Um, it's a kind of decision as you're approaching the two-year mark in a term. Should we? Should, the, should there be a mayor on the ballot this okay. November? Mm -hmm. um, and because, we do that with other often with other elected officials throughout this charter that they mm -hmm. well, there's one that's for 16 it's board of ed i think 16 months and there's a very different oh no no i get that yeah, yeah. But, but, I'm, but i'm just saying is that um the disability that we're dealing with is only for the mayor by the way so a disabled council member yeah. gets to stay as long as he or she wants um during their term of office and that's happened yeah yeah uh -huh. so that's the 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 the, the sustained absence we're leaving. we're we're punting that yeah because I'm not sure that we've done enough research to okay. make a judgment call. All right, so we're back to my concept of may means or shall. If the audience is not in existence and you have the situation at hand, how long? How do, how does it work? You have to create an ordinance, and that can take months. So what you're saying it's is what I said is that you should mandate in the charter that they do this within six months. Yes. Get it done. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think that's I important. Yeah. Okay. That's the best way to do it. So they shall and adopt an ordinance right. within, within six, six months. months. I, I don't know, however, how this council would feel about it, but I would think that people that have something to fall back on to say this is what we're doing and why to the general public yeah. and to anybody else yeah. would be very helpful. Yeah. Good. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Good. Next page. Thanks for bringing attention to that. Right. Um, I had no changes in the removal of 3-9-10. Uh, okay. Uh, I still have not... Comma needed after. What's that? Comma, uh, any department head, and comma, other... Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, at the end of that chapter in... Um, L and M, um, it's really L. I still have to give you language on the uh, appointee serving at the, um, I just have to basically put, give the language on the appointee serving at the um, um, will of the mayor on how they're, how they're terminated, based on how they're removed, um, which we deal with in the later chapters. Mayor, mayor can just remove somebody at will. And I just wanna, I wanted to address it up here even okay. though it's addressed in that section. Um, so I put a placeholder section in there. Okay, I, but I, in I, L, you have town clerk. Yeah, town clerk. And, and that's got to come out because that's an elected. No, 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 that's an M. L is crossed oh, out. All right, all right, so right. An M. Yeah. M. Town clerk is dealt with by statute. Man, chief of police is dealt with by statute. Fire chief. Town clerk is an elected position in Norwalk. So, yeah, but there's a state statutory standard for removing a town clerk. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's just for removal. This is for removal. Okay. So if you're going to remove a town clerk, there's a statutory procedure for doing so. That's all it says. It, like the chief, you can't, the mayor and the council just can't uh, remove a chief. There's a stat, you can do it. Okay. But you have to do it in accordance with state statute. Yeah. I thought the same. Thing. That's yeah. all that is. Yeah. Read through is what not the appointment. Like duty. For the mayor and illness. I mean, is that spelled out? Through? What section are you looking at? Three nine. Removal of mayor for misconduct or neglect of duty. I'm just wondering. Well, we have a standard. Maybe that title is too narrow. Hold on. And it's you know versus being yeah, ill, like which is still neglect of duty. Yeah, you know, I think it is. But let me take a look here. I don't. I don't think. I'll that. start. Okay. Um, Your election too strong a word. Three nine. I would say that we should. So uh, I would say simply removal of mayor, because in fix the title here, because in, in section three six a we have um, the reasons. But that leads us to C, where the council action is, which is. I think what we were talking about before with the six months, mm -hmm. 
this is this is something different, I think, but I'm not sure how well it's spelled out, but it's different. That makes sense. And Miscond, I'm not sure I'm in the right place. Yeah, and misconduct. We're looking at three dash nine, no, page twenty-eight. Misconduct and neglect of duty are really not the same thing. No, well, well that's why it's an order. That neglect right. of duty could also mean that he's sick. He's right. neglecting his duties because he's ill. Well, right. What do you do? And then there's a council action on that. Mm -hmm. There's a roll call vote that's different than the six months mm -hmm. that we talked about if he was sick or whatever. Or he wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing. Well, well no, this is the permanent. This is not determining um, that there is a um, that there is a. Um, and this is current language, by the way. Temporary. Yeah. The, 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 this is current. This is not determining that the mayor is uh, incapable of conducting yeah. the office. This is that the mayor is incapable, and we want to remove her or him from office. Right away. Yeah. A form of impeachment. Yeah. And I have the standard in there because that's the language in the body, which is in the current charter. Um, and so it's not well defined, except if you look back at the language um, that we we cleaned up a little earlier in 3-6A, it, uh, We have the standards of death, resignation, failure to remain an elector, permanent mental or physical disability or infirmity. We can adopt those standards and allow the council to expand the standards, um, but not expand them for purposes of using them in uh, in the current uh, during. You, you know what? The, the, to expand standards by ordinance that are designed to get somebody who's in office that moment. Do you see my point? So you want to make sure that they that they that they do. I mean, I think those standards are reasonably good in 3-6. Um you so we can may say that official conduct, well, official misconduct is not dealt with. Or let me see if I can come up with standards for removal. I think I have it in other charters. We didn't address this issue here. It's a good catch for me. But I think I might keep the title the way it is and we establish what the standard is. Okay. All right. Under uh, 3-10B, there's um, the second to the last sentence. Uh, <clears throat> just it crossed out his. I think you need the word the. Cease to discharge the function of the office. To share the functions of office and uh, uh, function, uh, how about uh, functions of office and show or of the I put up the what, what, what does everybody think? What everybody wants of three ten b three ten b three ten b shall cease to discharge the function of office. It may be the functions of office and shall not, or the function it's of the, the office. office. Which I don't do care which way you guys want to go. Okay, functions of office. Of I office, think, yeah, I think functions of office. Well, well, yeah, we're shall not receive any salary. So that is, that's okay then. Mm -hmm. We leave it. Functions. No functions. Oh, functions just, of office. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So now. So now we're moving on to the oath. We have the oath in there, and that's pretty much it in Article Three. Article Six. The changes are at the end um, where we delete the select men in 6 5 and we delete the treasurer in 6 6. 6 6. That page is 37 and 38. Okay. Okay. All right? Yeah. The board of ed. <laughs> 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 now, we didn't change anything in this, in this section. Mm -hmm. Um, I do have a bunch of notes here, but we didn't change anything because I think we do address the issues. Yes. So at the end of this is where we get rid of the, we're now on page 42, 9-4. I'm still on 34. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Well, if you have other things, let, let well, me I don't know. <clears throat> So we're looking at nine. So, nine four. We eliminate compliance. Remember, I talked about this earlier. We eliminate it. Is out. Yeah. yeah. 
And 9-5, I modified it. This is the one that they were complaining about yeah. Yeah. how many contracts it is. For it. And so I focused on the multi-year. We're trying to get multi-years. Mm -hmm. We're trying to find out how you're circumventing the system uh, by approving a contract for one year that actually has an option agreement. In it. Which, so, which their attorney agreed with. And, and their, the, their the, attorney was okay. He, hasn't the, this he, he, was, he said he understood, he understood that he would be concerned about months later. And we had a conversation subsequent where he repeated that concern, right. and so we're okay. Um, so the language, I think, does work. Um, and and, and I, I have an exemption here, but I added a line, the exemption should not be construed to prevent the city, should be capitalized C, or, or their officials from obtaining such documents were permitted under law. If for some other reason the city wants to look at the special education um, program because there's a scandal or something wrong and the city might want to have an administrative uh, process in their contract procurement process to remedy the problem, they should be able to get this information. It's foiable anyhow. It may have to be redacted, but I didn't want the exemption from the report to be construed to not allow us to do it. That's why I added that last sentence. Okay. So the <coughs> so, yep, under law. So the only thing changed in that section only thing. is a request for a report on multi-year contracts. Yeah, and there the language no, it's not everything. Beach, no takeover, no okay. throw the government. Setting, no administrative burden. No administrative burden. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I have a question on that concept. Which is fair. <laughs> Which our left quarter right, right now. Right on the <laughs> yeah. This reporting report. I'm, I'm sorry. Side. Say it again because we couldn't hear you. Right over, please. I said, and, and quarterly was taken out. It's crossed off here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I but I'll leave it in the beginning. Every, every quarter there's a, thereafter a report. Actually, um, yeah, I leave every quarter. I just say a report is that there was redundant. Because okay. I, I, I have the quarters. I still have to do quarterly reports. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, the other way we could do is I'm doing this for New Haven right now. Um, is um, that uh, they want, um, but it's a different thing. It's a different issue. So, I'm going to say, okay, so I need to ask a question here under uh, nine dash three budget. Is that before we go back? Everybody okay with nine dash five or whatever the number? Mm -hmm. will yes. Be? yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, nine dash three. Um, the last sentence. Th these reports on on a quarterly uh, basis. Is this really being done? I asked this before. Is this in our current charter? The, the current charter, I think, requires monthly reports. Yeah. yeah. I think they yeah, stated they did. It's, it's, it's already in there. But yeah. it's not done. It's, it's, well, that, that is my question. Is this done? And no, so we need to be educated to this. No, it's concern. monthly. It's, monthly. It's monthly. It's nine dash three is monthly. It's still monthly. But is yeah, this? I, I need to be reassured that this is well, verbatim from the current charter. You haven't changed a thing. No, it, it's still the same thing. Now, but it's, it's just a recodification. Is it being done? No. And is it being done? No, because if it was being done on a monthly basis, then why was so well, much of a pushback on a quarterly basis? Right, true. exactly, true. Uh, exactly what is true there, Carl. Yeah. So if you're not doing monthly, these are two different things. This is but no, but remember the pushback really came because yeah. of the quarterly basis. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, it's so much work. About yeah. well, then obviously it's not being done on a monthly basis. Well, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. It wasn't being followed. Correct. We need to and be we're, educated yeah. very carefully to that issue. So I I need to go back and find it in the and for me to. Feel comfortable. Well, it, it opened up again. Well, look at the yeah. annotation. If yeah. you look at the annotation, it's in it's one dash five oh eight of the current charter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's exact language, and there's not a word changed. Well, and I think we need to be prepared to articulate that. Um, that. Was, oh yeah. Did they complain about that? Oh, oh did. Oh, oh yes. yeah. But it's yes. in the charter. Yeah. yeah. That, but, well, the lawyer yeah. also complained about the transfer provisions regarding uh, whatever the percentage was, the number was. That's in the charter, and we're going to follow the state statute. Well, right. well, yeah. And he agreed with you on that. Pardon? I think. I don't know if he agreed with me on that uh, because we didn't debate that one. I, well, I thought in a kind of, yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't push that one too hard because I felt pretty comfortable. It's in the charter, guy. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what you said. Yeah. I think he. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I think did he say stopped that. at that point. Yeah, I think he did stop. I yeah. think all the comments yeah. I've heard has been over the, the reporting. Uh -huh. Yeah. Definitely. And I, and I would always say go back to it, Will. 
you were supposed to be doing this. Yeah, it's in the charter. That, that, that's you know why I brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, exactly where we're 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 telling you here. We're letting you do it on a monthly basis instead of monthly. If we did that, as opposed to monthly, uh, is this the yeah. and is it enforceable? I mean, it. Well, well, that's going to have to is, be is there the, argument, the different type of reporting. Is the argument that they're already doing a monthly I, update at one of their? My practices? impression was that they ignored this. This is a monthly totally. comparative analysis of how they're spending. It's their spend rate. Right. Yeah. It's their it's their spend rate right. report. That's what which that's and they're, nine they're, dash three. They that? No, they don't do that. No, that's why I think the pushback. The, the pushback is that it's not. It's an easy thing to do. I well. Know. I don't. Yeah, but we but, need to find out whether they do or they. Well, don't. maybe we, we have so, a follow up with them to understand if there's a distinction between what they're reporting at like a monthly business meeting versus what the yeah. charter is asking for versus this quarterly report. Uh, okay, so right. it goes to the mayor. Right. So we need to check what the mayor saw. One of the arguments they made was that they are providing the information at their meetings, and the mayor yeah, yeah. the mayor has the mayor okay. can do it. right the official right. of the meeting they should be at the meeting to get yeah. his yeah. Yeah. and so the that's mayor can then be the secretary right. to the yeah. Yeah. working together without everybody else. That's exactly yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 but we should clarify that. I mean, yeah. that's, if there's a distinction between what's happening now and how it's happening and what what needs to be done. Recommend yeah. what the right. charter says, right? Then we should be right. sure that we are find that safe. research out. Well, we, we, like, we check, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll check the mayor's office. Yeah, we'll check get with that. Yeah. 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 I wanted to make sure. We'll talk to Leo. Yeah, okay. We'll talk to Alicia. The other bone of contention that I remember, uh, uh, is the uh. The flow, the budget. Uh, we'll report. talk about that next. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's that's oh, yeah. that's item number. Um, not as three five on your charter, but let's we'll jump to that. We'll jump to that. No, there, there is no contract. No, but it's, it's, here, right? it's consistent with what we're talking right now. So I think it's wait a minute. I'm sorry, Carl. What? No, I was just for my own edification. There is no contract administrator for the Board of Education. Is there none? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. No, no, <laughs> um, no. They'll just want another position. So <laughs> another 10 million. We don't <laughs> we're not going to mandate new positions. Okay, so no. where are we going? So that's it based on I'm, I'm not mandating. I was just for my own yeah. clarification. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. All right. The rest of this document, uh, Article 12 are historical provisions. Uh, I'm simply placing in the back of the document the current districts uh, to make sure that they don't go away, that they're there until they do go away. Um Article on page 48, um, I will move this into Article 11. These are sections from this portion of the, from the sections that we're going through right now that deal with the taxing districts. And I thought it was more appropriate to put them into the taxing district section of the charter. Mm -hmm. And that's, so we're not changing any of that. Yeah. Pages 48 through 52, those sections are gonna be moving into Article 11, okay. right? And then, on pages 53 and beyond, those are the sections that I am recommending for repeal. The court counsel's office is looking at that now. Okay, I have to go back to um, all of the <clears throat> information here on districts. I read it all again last night, and um, I understand it pretty well, but I find this still extremely confusing. I'm sorry, Patsy, so, what page? Uh, uh, 44. 44 to 52, 44. the whole section. Uh, I find it it's just very, very confusing. So I, my thought is it's, it's reworking. Less, less. And we have to focus on it. And I know that's hard for you to do. And we we're, we're not reworking. I mean, I, with all due respect, this can't be reworked. These are special uh, acts. I, we can't change this. I, I understand that a explanation of them is is the concern. So, but that's what we're doing at the beginning. Aren't we doing the historical explanation? Uh -huh. Is that the intent of doing the historical context at the beginning? Yeah. To me, it just the the way it's presented doesn't flow well. So, I I want to take another look at it and. The, the historical part. No, yeah. I, I, Patsy, I, they're here, put here for one reason, one reason only. Read the beginning. It says the following are the districts subject to repeal upon uh, or sunset upon conclusion of the reapportionment of the 20, for the 2025 municipal election. They're just here as a placeholder. They're the currently existing districts that are going to go away. They're going to come out of the charter uh, when 
the re reapportionment takes place for 2025. And so to spend time, I mean, you can be my guest if you want to rewrite them, but one, we have to be careful about rewriting special act provisions. Yeah, you're talking about voting districts. I'm not talking about voting district. I'm talking about the historic districts of first, second, third. That's not what these are. I, I know, but the whole thing is confusing and we have to articulate that this is not what they are somehow. So we need to focus on it. These are the districts for the council. I know. Right. Yeah, but the council, yeah, these are different the, the the first, second, third, and sixth have elected people at the same time that we elect our council districts. But that's going into Article 11, and we weren't going to change anything in Article 11. We're just moving everything into that. That's the, that's the taxing down. district section. Yeah. 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 Taxing district and mm -hmm. district. So that'll have its own section. It's, it's got yeah. its own Tax section. And those it. districts are right. hopefully defined in there somewhere. Okay. I mean, I'll, yeah. If I'm instructed to do it, I'm happy to do it. It's just that well, I'll reread it again. Yeah. Uh, you with, know, I'm focused on this yeah. from the beginning, and I, I I don't know. Maybe I'm not getting my concern across, but um, I find it. Well, we don't want it, we want to make sure we don't mix up also the voting districts exactly. and the tax exactly. exactly with the yeah. taxing districts. Correct. Like one, two, three, yeah. five, seven, nine, whatever they are. Yeah. Right. We can have a note in here that these are not the taxing right. districts. These are the council districts. Well, they have their own separate sections. Yeah, they're, they're in separate sections different. completely. I get it. But but she's saying people will still be confused. Yeah, so we can put a note. I can put a note in there that these. Yeah, yeah maybe a yeah, reference to 100 beginning in right. section. Exactly. Initially, so it's still, we still don't have it. Summary, and it's still. 11 and 12. Okay. Right. Yeah. What, Michael, a little summary at the beginning of um, Article 11 and um, 12. Explaining right that they're different. Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not a footnote, that just was, at the top yeah. what they are and how they go. I was just gonna put it in the annotations. Uh, like yeah, there's a note from we can have a one of the things I sometimes do are our uh um charter revision commission um um is a term I use, I'm drawing a blank on it right now, but it's just basically notes from the charter revision commission, basically. Uh yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you can explain these are the current council districts that will go away. Footnotes? Yeah, it's not a footnote, but it's uh, yeah. now, observation. I, it's an observation from a commission or something like that. So well, I think it needs to be more instructive than that and not a reference. Uh, I, I, it, 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 everybody is but confused. It says that these are the council districts. What else can you say? You, you can say they're not the taxing districts. In a way, that's in a way, it's not to, to be well, we have to just We have right. to define what it is because it's not well, it in the sense that says in this section it says section eleven. Well, I guess this would come after it, but you have an intro to section eleven that says the, this comes after, after it because this is going away. By the way, that's why it's yeah, after right. it. This chapter is going to oh, go okay. away. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then say this is the voting districts. For the section under attack, whatever. For the yeah, right, records. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the definition. Yeah, it, we just have to have uh, that that a simple, simple sentence uh, saying. It's like a sentence saying. All right, I'll say that. Without a text. All right, but, but okay, this is important. So I want to make sure everybody we hear each other. Yep. So Michael, you were saying. I was saying like at the beginning, a, a sentence probably saying, "The council district. This is not to be confused with the taxing district." Right. And something something that basically conveys that concept and and anybody else want to come, come no, i like what michael's saying there and i think that it needs to be said right up front yeah that, that they're right. different before you go into it so they understand what they're reading got it okay. Rick's shaking yes, to well i'm saying i i don't want to go too deep into it because i think they lay themselves out pretty well so we just need to like very simple this is for voting districts this is the taxing districts and let them read through what they are. And like Steve said, some of it's going away anyway. So it's. Well, I agree with that, but I think what Michael's. Oh, Michael had a purpose. Yeah. Well, take Yeah, Michael had a Because if I started, if I, if, I, if I started reading the districts, the this mm -hmm. on page 44. Mm -hmm. I will add one sentence to Michael's. The taxing districts are defined in article. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. there you go. Yeah. Right. There you go. There you go. Right. You just earned your coffee. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, then uh, article it's like a dog with a bone. Article 11 is taxing article of is taxing districts. So are the the uh, the voting districts changing this year? Is that right? 
No, no, they won't change it. 2025. 25. 2025. I'm already there. We're too no. late. And they yeah. may not even change it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Why then. Do you think because uh, that. The, because all the tax and district stuff is in my computer in a, in its oh. actual chapter. These are just the provisions from these sections that I've pulled out that should go into the taxing district okay. section. That's okay, what, so that's where what. are you now? I would say that uh, unless you want to discuss the items for appeal, we are at Article 10, which is page, oh, which actually is a separate document. Um, this is the budget section. So, uh, so I sent you, I believe I sent you like the last six pages of the act. Yep. Yeah. I sent you uh, uh, Mooney's Dyson. Yep. I sent it to Zuma to send out to everybody. She sent out. I don't think it's it. comments. I don't think Tom Mooney's comments. I don't, I don't think see it. Tom Mooney's. Right. Yes. Yeah. I, yes. Yeah, I wrote it he, down. Good. Is it all in one memo or was it a separate thing? There was I one memo from I me to him with thing. everything attached. Oh. Yeah. I tried to find that. Okay. And I couldn't right. find it. It's not that complicated, so I'll I'll go over it with you uh, because I think we need to get it resolved. Yeah. Um, so what the Board of Education wants are two things in the budget. So to to distill it all down, he wrote a lot of stuff about um, that the Board of Ed has to maintain good elementary schools, an appropriate learning environment. Uh, they have charge of the schools in the respective district. Uh, it needs to have a uh, continuing study of the need for school facilities and long-term building program. He was trying to uh, emphasize the criticality of their role in capital budgets and capital planning. Uh, what he didn't mention uh, was, and my response did allude to it, and I didn't want to get argumentative with him, is that there's a case called City of New Haven versus New Haven Board of Education. Um, remember, I told you about the uh, the superintendent I tried to have fired. Mm -hmm. um, I was a chair of the finance committee uh, when I was president pro tem, and the education lawyers and the board of education were making the argument that oh, capital is treated the same way as operating. Same thing, we get to say what our capital is. And my argument was, and this is before the Supreme Court case, no, um, the statute is pretty clear that you have operating functions and operating responsibilities and operating line item control, nothing else, nothing else. The capital is owned by the city. It's unless you're a separate education district, a regional school district, for example, where you do own it and you do have a different relationship with tax taxpayers. You actually send them the bills. You actually set the rate for the taxation for your school district. You don't do that in Norwood or New Haven. You uh, are sub subject to the powers of the Board of Alders in New Haven, City Council, and more, more importantly, the Board of Estimate, the mayor in Norwalk in terms of the tax rates that are established. And so all this is fine and dandy, but you are like any other department, you need to come to the city and make the recommendations. There are differences. You have a school building committee, which is a different kind of function. You don't have a public works building committee. You don't have a uh, fire department building committee or police department building committee. So there are mechanisms that give boards of education more, more prominence, and, and but it also invites members of your council and board, board of estimate to be part of those entities, and they come up with um, their programs. But their programs aren't adopted 100%, and the Board of Ed has no vote once it goes into the process. So that's to give you background. And so City of New Haven versus New Haven Board of Education um, says that capital budgets are municipal, general government budgets, not Board of Education budgets. It is the general government. Whatever the procedure is, that's the procedure that you need to abide by. What they're trying to do with the language is in 10-13, did, did I attach Article no 10. No yeah. Way. yeah, it's in the yeah, back of the document. Oh, it's in the back of the document. So if you go to 10, like Tyler said, the last six yeah. pages. If you go to 10-13 on yeah. uh, Chief, Financial Chief Financial Officer's report, they want that report to go to them and have their name added to the Board of Estimate. Yeah, I don't have that. There you go. Still in the ship. That's what I've been looking for. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll wait. 
I thought we'd get this taken care of because yeah, these are pretty simple. Well, we're, you don't have the I don't there. have no, it for some reason. Okay, so what you got? Yeah, no, the I didn't get it. That's okay. right. Here, take, take this one. Yeah. Got that one? yeah. Well, we can share it. Right? Up the right hand corner of the uh, paper. There, there's one interesting thing in Roman what you're piece. saying. Uh, on, on the the difference between the capital budget and the operating for facilities, I years back I had been co-chairman of the school building committee when several schools were built, um, um, one of which is being knocked down. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, in, in the operating budget, they have responsibility to maintain facilities to a, to a high standard. Exactly. And unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. And that's the, that's the game in the budget that gets played, mm -hmm. is that they don't maintain them, and then you've got to totally replace them. And they want to kick it to capital yeah, because right. that's not exactly. out of their budget. Exactly. Right. So exactly. They, they want to reduce their maintenance fees in their operating budget yeah. and so, with the capital. And so. that's a real concern that needs to be recognized and, um, well, acknowledged and... and um, did you uh, have the review. document in front of you now? She does. Yeah. Copy. So yeah, yeah. in 10-13, yeah. in the listing of the people that get the CFO's report are the Common Council. They play a role in the capital budget. The Planning and Zoning Commission, they play a role in the capital budget. Oh. And the Board of Estimate and Taxation, they play a role in the capital budget. They want to add the Board of Ed there. Now, adding them there, you can argue, is harmless in one respect. <laughs> because they have nothing else to do except they get the report. I so I decided to add, that I would recommend that you add the following language. I wouldn't add them there, yeah. but I would say the CFO shall also send the report to all departments of the city, including the Board of Education. So everybody gets it. It's a public document, guys. Yeah. So everybody's entitled to get it. But you want to see it? We'll add a line. Do they just want to see it or do they want to? No, because we, they want to, no, no, they, they're going to be added to the decision makers. That yeah. we yeah. get to my next, the next legalize what they're already trying to do. The, right. So I would simply add a sentence that, yeah, you want it? We'll add a sentence saying yeah. you can have it. Like all of the departments can get it, mm -hmm. you can get it. Yes. Are you all right with that? Sure. They will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well they, they, their argument back is that we have a different. Uh, investment, but you have, uh, uh, but you have the like school building committee. You have a lot of other yeah. mechanisms. Yeah, but other departments like uh, the Department of Public Works, there are a lot of uh, related expenses, capital expenses. If you're expanding, well, and doesn't the state the mandate area. their budget cannot be cut year to year? That what the, the school board's budgets can't go down year to year. They they always go up. Isn't that a state mandate? Well, there's a state mandate. There are minimum there are minimum education requirements that you have to provide, but that's again on the operating side, right? Not the capital is, side. Not the capital side, right? The, the, the state does not intervene on the capital side. Even the state, which has given them and enormous authority, does not. It's just my opinion. I think there's some confusion on this board, and maybe even previous that that same thing applies to the capital side. And they, they, and they try to interpret that, I think. I well, they're pushing uh, their attorney. Well, said, here. They're, they're looking for, they have another agenda on yes. where this is going. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So, absolutely. What we're doing and what they want are definitely two different things. Correct. <laughs> and then in 10 16. Very diplomatically replaced. Okay. This is where they. This is where they suddenly try to get into it. You know, I have to say, in fairness to, to Tom and, and his folks, they didn't push too hard, but they made some subtle changes so they can make arguments. If you go look at 10-16A on the next page, this is where the mayor's proposed budget is transmitted to the um, BET. And this is where the BET's actions are. The BET shall approve the capital budget incorporating the recommendations as the mayor Planning and Zoning Commission and CFO may make. They want to add the Board of Education. <laughs> the Board of Education makes recommendations. So does the Public Works Department. So does the other departments. They want theirs in there acting as if their recommendations are on par with the mayors and the others. And, and uh, my, my recommendation would be that you reject that, that that's not the way it's done. Testifying. Come before the BET, make your case as to why the mayor's 
yeah. uh, shaving. Aren't we, aren't we, 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 the we have a similar process to that, right? Yeah. They come out and advocate and parents advocate and- Exactly. Every department has to do yeah. it. Every department has to do yeah. it. Including myself. Yeah. I have do it before the oh, planning and yeah. zoning. Yes, do it before planning and zoning. Do it at the BET. Do it when it gets to the board of reps. Mm -hmm. so, you know, and then it's open. But you don't get. You're not. Your recommendation. You're not, to, you're not equal to the decision makers. Those are decision makers in that one. And that's why I took them out of the first one on the report. Mm -hmm. I would take them out of this one completely um, because they have the right to to testify. And that's my recommendation. It's not taking any power away from them is not adding any power. Right, they're they're trying to create a nebulous argument. They're trying to create an argument. They're on different. The, they're, so they're different. Yeah, yeah. And they have a difference. Yeah. 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 yeah, Which could open up a can of worms. Open up a can of worms. Yeah. Yeah. Open the part. The part of public works, yeah. or so that's my recommendation. An interesting <laughs> comment on this, and that uh, when they were here, they uh, accused us of making governmental changes that weren't uh at, but they're recommending one that exactly correct yeah just mm -hmm. yeah just as we absolutely correct yeah <laughs> oh. nothing new that it's that we can't do it but they can do it correct yeah okay okay you got it so that's it those oh, are the two those are the Thank two you. hey good luck yeah right. guys have fun yeah and that's Thanks. it Thanks. i'll be hearing that's it. Take us to you and uh, have discussion on the field about this. I'll ask the kids their thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, ask Rob. And Rob is a teacher. You get me a good input. I'm trying to find this three times. Yeah. Computer and couldn't. So that, th those are the. Uh, okay. So, uh, wow. That's um, a big one. So, I mean, I just wanted to go so through. So let's give us a, re you know. So that's a items. Recap. Uh, that's where a, we are, what we got to do. Right, I just want to look at the agenda and make sure I know where we are. So we just did three and we did five. We kind of jumped to the board, uh, discussion of the Board of Education regarding capital budget process. Okay. So the next item that I wanted to talk about with you are the sections on the council and the mayor. And um, I'll give you a kind of a preview if we have time on yeah. board, board of Education and I'm sorry, boards and commissions and departments. Uh, has everybody agreed? Yeah. 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 Can yeah. 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 we take a bio break? Yes. Ryan, thinking of yeah. 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 Like a right. five minute bio break. Bio break. Yeah. Bio yeah. break. But that doesn't give me enough time to go get coffee. <laughs> well, I went to a 15 minute. No. I can get one here. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I brought my own. Uh, yeah. I, I, I brought my own because you can't, there's nothing open to us. So. Yeah. No. Well, when, I, when I was in charge of. Of the we space creation wall. for this building. Oh, way to go! You cut out of yeah, and I, I got, I said they needed a is. little restaurant, and I got voted down. And and um, it's a problem. We needed, you know, we, we had it. it is needed. We had it, and then when COVID came, they took out. I mean, it was well, but that. Before. But I was talking about a bigger. It's not a bigger. No, uh, so we don't have any. We don't have closed. The, 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 there's no attendees. Because if you come to the town for your business, you don't want to make sure you can at least on this. You don't even have a place in there. Yeah. Yeah. Go to eat or yeah. get a break. I'll be right back. Okay. The closest place would be the Norwalk and they get caught. Men of a certain age need bio breaks occasionally. They don't. Um... Nice yeah. You too. <laughs> yeah, because when we did this, the general Putnam, I don't remember when you came to town, but the general Putnam was the close and pennies were like the two closest places. Long gone before oh. I got here. Pennies, pennies is, is it's close. Is pennies closed now? Pennies yes, please. Yes, yes, while, yeah. We're back on. In terms of what Carl, what I talked with Carl about and Tyler, um, you know, we have these forums, the oh, DTC and yeah. the R. Yeah, there, there's going to be yeah. a reach out plan. Reach I think, out. Yeah, there'll be a reach out plan. But I, I think that's where we're going. With well, right. we not talk about it? We have a meeting on Monday. I think you should talk and about it. I think, I think it's like every, every, now, as yeah. we can now. Every opportunity you get. And try to can, Yeah, yeah every, Monday, you tell us to come to our meeting on the 19th. And well, that's a big part of it, yeah. Yes. Tell them to come on on Wednesday, because on Wednesday, they'll get an idea and see what kind yeah. of people are issues exactly. we're raising. And we're still in the gathering of information right. and, and, and discussing concepts. They got a lot of questions, and they're, they're already formulating opinions, which people do. Really? Well, yes. And, and it, yeah, what a surprise. And, I, you know, this is like, being educated myself here, but I, I'm I'm listening to some great stuff, and I think there's some great work being done here. But I do not want this thing, and I've just seen it. And you all have seen it also. 
I just don't want to DOA before it even gets a chance to breathe, mm -hmm. you know? Look, I think that the major thing that I think I've been saying to people were when I when I get asked questions about um, Norwalk, and, and that is um, we are reforming the document. We're not reforming the government. There are a few things we are doing. There's a few things you are doing. You're deal with the term of office as a we, we've with, with other, a few exceptions yeah there are some exceptions but generally what we're doing is we're taking a 1913 document right and we are turning it into a 2023 absolutely and and the structure what the city council the common council will look like 10 years from now that's for a future charter commission or a bet future charter revision commission um those things are are stuff that you can look at in the future but right now we want to we want a document that will will be will passed in November period. And I think by articulating the year 1913 really goes to people's base that they can okay that's 110 years wow yeah, I didn't know that that was that end. But see that's an excellent point because most people that I've talked to think that when I say something about you know it was 100 years ago. They don't You're thinking believe. we're just reviving whatever was done eight, ten years ago, nine years ago, yeah. whenever it yeah. was. And I said, no, it's much deeper than that. Yeah. 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 And so there's there's a misconception right there. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't think yeah. they really realize when this how document, deep yeah, when this how broad this is. When this document is published, I say this without fear of contradiction, and you put it up against the uh, the original the, the current document, or you even put it up against my revised document. Uh, th this document I'm carrying around is, which I've sent out to everybody, is the reorganized document of everything without a word change in it. It's basically everything that's in your current charter. But I think I will print out for you the current document so people can take a look at what you've done versus what you have. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no table of contents. Yes, that's a good idea. No table of contents in your current document. There's no way to... Okay. But can... that, if you do that, you know, that's like this thick. So maybe you articulate the big changes. No table of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. I, I'll, I'm, you're going to have PowerPoints. I'm just saying that you will have these documents that will be online. Somebody wants to take a look at it online. Somebody really wants to do a deep dive. They're, they're going to have it. Yeah. No, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a real good PowerPoint. Believe me, uh, you'll have it. And I'll send this one out too. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the original one. So don't feel bad though. I ran this through Chat GPT the other day, and it was all done in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, okay. So what's so, so let's talk about uh, Common Council. I talked to you about uh, the two volumes already, uh, and um, the Common Council sections, Article Four. Do you have that? Yep, you got it. It's in it. It's in the packet. It's in the packet. And we haven't discussed this at all. What page are you on on that? Where is that? Well, I'm yeah, not using the thing. It's, yeah, it's, it's page great. one. It's yeah. this, this one, though. It's way in the back. Larry left. Yeah. Draft article four, one. Right. We're all the way in the back. All right. So. It's this one. Mm -hmm. 20 pages from the back. 20 pages? Yeah. That's yeah, page. yeah, yeah, which is, it may not be page numbers numbers on. It would be page 57, sort of. That's the one we've been working on all day. That one right there. Okay. okay, so. What page? This says draft four, article one. Four, one at the bottom. Oh. Here you go. Thank you. It's right after page 56. Or, or, well, you know what? Mm -hmm. I, that's what that's I right. That's right. Page 56. Yeah. Got it. I don't think I, can, I, not, right right after take it apart. No, no. This is. I'm into a whole area where I don't even see page numbers. It's right after page 56. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the I draft article four, page 154, there's 56. That's the two one half version. I had, see, I had this. Yeah. Had, you know? Yep. Yeah. So. This one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it, everyone? Yeah. We got it. Good. Thanks for holding the bus for me. <laughs> okay. So. This is the city council section, and it's um, obviously incorporated. And, and let me explain something else um, so there's no confusion. The footnotes that we have here are annotations. Mm -hmm. And what I did when we did when I did the initial uh, revision, the initial reorganization, I took every section that I moved and annotated it to where it is in the charter today mm -hmm. so that anybody who wants to go back and look can find that be the case. One of the things we're not going to be able to do 
in this charter because it would take six months to do it is a true red line. Um, because most of the sections that you will see, you're going to jump around. In, in, when you look at these annotations, you're going to jump around different sections of the current charter because things were all over the place. Yeah. And I had to pull all the powers of the city council into this and the common council into this section from different places mm -hmm. in the current charter. Um, so the way to, to really do a, um, a red line would be to take the section one by one and red line one by one. You can't red line chapters because uh, I can give you red lines. Any changes we make today, you'll have a red line on Wednesday, right? But I can't give you a red line as to what what uh, what they are in the current. So that what we're going to be doing is we're going to publish, because we have a publication requirement, um, the charter clean because we're recommending a new charter, basically. And we're going to say to people that the annotations will tell you where things come from. Uh, and, and then there will be summary documents and all that. So this is the council section. Um, uh, four dash one is new. Um, uh, four dash one is new. Oh, there it is. Um, it simply recites, I like to put these at the beginning of these sections where there is a clear statutory um, mm -hmm. responsibility that this is new and that this basically is derived from the uh, the general statutes that um, uh, quick note on this one. I will see it here. Um, that 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 is the case. The officers are are four dash two. All of these provisions are in the current charter. So majority and minority leader are not part of the charter. Right? They are not. They could be, but they're not. It, are they in most communities or some communities? Yes. Some communities no usually have the constitutional officers. The officers you tend to have are the uh, the officers that uh, lead to succession to the mayoralty. So sometimes you'll go to the pro tem. I think New Haven has both minority and majority leaders. Although New Haven, has we, we do. Have no, 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 no. Everybody has majority no, powers. Yeah. I'm saying the charter. In the charter. Oh, oh, uh, New Haven had to change their charter. Uh, because for 15 years, there's been no minority party member. There's no Green Party, no Working Family Party, no Republican. 30 wards have elected just Democrats. And so we're, we're actually going through that issue right now. Um, because it's very it's very uncomfortable. I, I've told them, I really think you should change your system so you can elect some other parties. <laughs> uh, you know, but that that hasn't happened. And so um, so you could, if you'd like, if you'd like me to tell you which communities have it, I'm happy to I okay. just, you know, thought I'd hear, people should be. I hear a statement that you stopped with. Though. Pardon? Not now, but sometime. Yeah. There's no constitutional, they're not constitutional officers okay. as a rule. Okay. Um, in Middletown, there was no president, and the majority of minority, minority leaders were listed there because there was no president, the mayor's presiding mm -hmm. officer, and there was a, a, a mayor pro tem who was a member of the body mm -hmm. elected to be mayor pro tem. So there wasn't, uh, we changed that. So there will be a president of their body. The mayor will still preside, like in Norwalk. Um, but there is a um, the mayor, the president is the uh, is the presiding officer pro tem, and and that's the way it, it's dealt with. Um, <clears throat> so you've noted the uh, you know the one year term issue, and and they they've just decided they don't, to do that. They just leave it. Yeah. You know, they just want to. Yeah. You know. it, nobody cares. So right. They don't care, so I, I that it, that will go away then. And then there's the meetings of the council quorum. What is a quorum? It's a majority of the members. Roll call votes shall be taken whenever uh, requested by any of the members by any member. Uh, the same is requested by any member, not members. A roll call vote of the common council shall be taken whenever the same is requested by any member. Okay, that's that. Um, their first meeting um, will be on the second Tuesday in January uh, with a change in the... Um, so, should that be like after an election? The first meeting of... After... A new... After the municipal... Election? Yeah. Good point. So the terms of office will change. Yeah. 
Uh, Where's um, one? That's in the well, chapter we dealt with. Just right, yeah, right. Then they meet once a month. No, there are no real changes in any of this language. I don't know if I've done. I didn't scour this one yet for the SEDS and the. I don't think maybe I did. I might have. Um, and um, public meetings. Meetings are public. Journals proceedings are open for public inspection. 15 executive session. This is current language. Um, yeah, this is interesting. My, my note here is that um, uh, I recommended repeal. While this is an express grant of um, authority, uh, the real question is whether is whether you want to challenge FOI because um, the may, the council may elect the point or discharge any officer except the mayor in executive session, but no business other than that relating to appointments or removal shall be considered an executive session. Under FOI, you can't take actions in executive right. session. session. And so my thought was that this should just go away. Again, I didn't have authority. Uh, I'll talk to um Mario's office, the CC. Yeah, office. contradicts exactly what. Yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah. and and there is focus on compliance right now. So yeah, that could be a very sensitive issue. Yeah, I, I would say. So my yeah. view is that it'd be nice to take something out okay. that is totally out, out of whack with 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 the uh, what the procedure. Is. Yeah. All right. So so I will take that. There's a consensus that we should remove this section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. All right. In the next A, there's Nick. Not limited. But not limited. And that is a nit. <laughs> I was anticipating it. No, but not limited <laughs> too. But it is a nit. Um, and these powers of uh, legislative actions are all in the current charter. Let me explain this, because when you look at the charter, some reason I brought this with me. And I did a lot of thinking on this section, um, section 4 dash 4, um, because I'll show you what we have in the current charter just to give you a sense of uh, the change. 4 dash 4, is that what you're saying? You're in it right now, but I'm going in, into it in my document here. Uh, mm -hmm. It's page 21. So, here we have a few, you know, major points. Legislative, you know, there's a general grant of legislative authority. Those remember my first my first opening lecture here was those that are necessarily or fairly implied. I like to use the judicial language um, specifically here. Those that are um, essential to the declared objects and purposes of the municipality. Not simply convenient, but indispensable. That is judicial language. That's the court cases that say what the general grant of authority is. And that gets us into the fact that the general statutes have, um, you have the Municipal Powers Act. Under the Municipal Powers Act, there are just a huge number of things you can do. Uh, wide range of things we can do to run the day-to-day -day operations of government. In the current charter, if we were to keep it the way it is, um, Section 4 4 has enumerated, and I actually, this was uh, under numbered, it was approaching 70 because I didn't split some up. There are five pages of 70 things that you had the power to do under the special acts. Um, all of these are covered by. The municipal powers act. You don't need them in your charter, um, is my point. And and so um, so we really simplified it. I had actually done a more complicated four dash four a that listed the general titles that are in the municipal powers act. And uh, when I showed it to some people, I think I sent it to you uh, at an earlier stage, um, uh, Patsy, um, and some of the council leaders, um, 
they said that that's just awfully wordy. And so I narrowed it down. And what I did in B is I really emphasized the major things that the legislative body does. I took the basically 70, 70 items that are listed in the special act. I rely on the Municipal Powers Act. And in B, for purposes of the public understanding of what the role, the significant things are that the council does is they do ordinances, that's one. They do the budget. They have a role in the budget. Remember, they have a very limited role in the budget. They have a, they have a role in the budget, which is two. Um, they, three, have the power to uh, create, merge, consolidate, or eliminate departments. Um, and with the limitations that are in the current charter, you may want to, I would just, to your attention, say, because it's not my discretion to make these decisions, but if you look at 3A through H, those are the offices they cannot eliminate under the charter. You may want to look at that and say, uh, should they be able to do that? Um, I do have a power in here that they can merge these things. They can't eliminate them. Um, you, you can merge the Planning and Zoning Commission. No, oh, that's been done like three times in the last well, they 50 have, years yeah. back and forth. They, 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 didn't they didn't have authority to do it, but, they, but you, well, under the new charter, you would have authority to yeah, do it. Yeah. Uh, as long as you keep the functions, you can merge them. And, and so uh, that's that's there. Item four is mayoral appointments to boards and commissions and departments. Mm -hmm. uh, five, the removal authority. Uh, the sixth, I thought these were critical, you know, kind of important day-to-day -day government functions that should be listed, filling vacancies, undertaking public improvements, licensing and regulating. Um, oh, well, this is very important. Um, because no city in the state of Connecticut has this power. This is a biggie, uh, or actually nine is the big one, uh, but eight and nine are two related things that deal with the issue of fireworks and torpedoes and firecrackers and yeah. gunpowder and petroleum. <laughs> and nine is the regulation of the discharge of firearms. Um, it's very interesting because when I was a young alder in the 1980s, that tells you how long ago we've been fighting this gun issue, in the country, I tried to find all ways for local government because we didn't think the state government was addressing the issue significantly. Carl, we may have a difference of opinion on, on the gun issue, uh, but there was no legal issue. There was no legal authority for local officials to address the use and discharge of guns in their local community. Um, you have that in your special act, and I thought that should be kept in your charter. Um, along with torpedoes. Along with torpedoes. torpedoes yeah, I kept I kept everything there historically. Now, there are fireworks that are called torpedoes. So. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, auditing is an important function. Salary is an important function. Um, the public seal, don't really need to have that in here, but it's that uh, the bonds. Well, it says that we shall have a public seal. We do have a public yeah, seal. Yeah. But, no, it says provide a public seal. Yeah, yeah, but in another section it says, but I don't remember who had the responsibility to do that. My question is, was it with the council or the mayor? Or usually whatever? the clerk is the keeper. Yeah. Usually the clerk yeah. is the keeper of the public seal. seal. You've got yeah. Yeah. two seals. Um, I'll take so, a look. Yeah, I'll do just, a, I'll do you know, a, where? I'll yeah. do a search and destroy or search and find. Yeah. <laughs> search and torpedo. <laughs> with the torpedo. Uh, and then the bonds. If, if necessary, uh, regulating, I don't know why I kept these in here, storing and hiring lumber, weights and measures, and then uh, protect public buildings. Those two last ones, 14 and 15, could probably go away, but they're, they're there. Those are, uh, of the 70 or so, those are the ones that I distilled down because, um, because there were some significant things there. Well, weights and measures, we still have... That comes under our health department. It's, it's there. They have to have weight and measure. Yeah. I left it because I didn't see it in the municipal powers. I think it's probably covered by health. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I'm, and I'm sure there's other statutes that give local government authority in that area. Um, but I kept them for that reason. They're kind of ancient. People might say, why are those there? But we can say because we weren't confident that they were you know, without doing a further search that they were dealt with somewhere else, but. Um, uh, you know, um, the library 
has a board of uh, um, trustees, it's the city department. And I don't know how that fits in here. These are the ones we cannot get rid of. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if there's any connection. We'll deal with the library yeah. later when we get yeah. to the department. But boards I, I still want to understand more clearly um, that you can't get rid of planning and zoning, but because we have combined them back and forth, um, is there language that explains that ability to do that? One. We are now planning and zoning, right? Right. We're yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. We're more. One now, you know, but, but we're two now, we're one. Yeah. I just um, wonder if that's my next album. And I think that might be confusing to members of both boards and the public, you know. So we haven't dealt with this yet, but the Planning and Zoning Commission is a commission you combined it by ordinance. Right, right. Mm -hmm. It's required by charter. In in the section I've drafted, I'm uh, recommending that you require it by charter in uh, uh, Article 7. So I would say you need to combine those and you can't get rid of that function. Yeah. Yeah. You can modify it, but you can't get rid of it. Rid of it. Yeah. Keep it combined. Well, so 10 years from now, they want to go back to separate boards. Um, Is it clear that that's allowable? That's my concern. I think the ordinance change made it planning and zoning now. I, I know, but you know, it's changed three times that I can remember. So, you know, it's potentially going to change again for some unknown reason. And I don't know if this confuses the ability to have that happen or not happen. I just want clarity. Give me a second here. Well, Rick, question if it was, uh, if they were combined by ordinance, mm -hmm. wouldn't it take an ordinance to undo that? Right. Yeah, but they might yeah, have been combined. Yeah, but they don't the ordinance. That's my point. Okay, here. So departments, it's not the chapter we're dealing with right now. It's in the department. And the department chapter, and it's probably in the zoning, in the, the board and commission chapter as well. Now, if you want, if you think it's, I didn't put it in the legislative chapter because I think it's the mayor and the council play a role. And that's why I put it in the section on departments and boards and commissions. But for departments, for example, which you will see, you, you don't have this one yet, um, that um, reorganization plans for departments, the mayor may propose by ordinance subject to approval of majority vote of the council a reorganization for city departments, including departments created by charter. Mm -hmm. And it says okay. the delineation of department categories are obligatory. So the ones like these, it's obligated to have it. And, and uh, you're obligated to have the function, not necessarily right. the department, right. but the function. Okay. So that, that's yeah. It. However, the structure of the name departments may be altered pursuant to a reorganization plan. And so, uh, in this respect, any department categories may be reorganized, department heads may be reassigned, unless otherwise provided by law or agreement or collective bargaining, et cetera. Um, the Corporation Council needs to issue an opinion for any reorganization plan that all the references to department functions in the charter are carried through in the ordinance. Is that existing and or no? Existing or no. Any reorganization, we are adding new it's ones. It's existing and it's going to stay. I'm recommending the language in, in your document. Okay. That's new language. That's not in the current charter. Okay, that's what yeah. I was asking. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's new language. And I believe I have similar language in the board and commission section. Um, let me take a look. If... Is it Is it okay usually you annotate that it's a new, new yes you, yeah. you'll see that yeah. yeah well that's exactly right that's exactly <laughs> right. I, I agree uh, you know, you, you know. <laughs> that's that's gbt uh, yeah. chiming in yeah <laughs> yeah i'm just looking at this thing where is it for the organization Um, I think I'm going to, because I don't have it in the boards and commissions for some reason. I don't want to have to repeat that because it's, it's very wordy.
You know, I'm going to take this language, reorganization of departments and B's and C's, boards and commissions, and move it to this chapter. Because we do talk about the merger, consolidation, yeah. elimination. Right. This is the logical place for it. Okay. And so well, rather than yeah. repeat it three different ways, put it right there. That's where it's in for. Yeah. So I'm going to move these out of this chapter that you haven't seen yet into four. Into four. Move C into chapter Article Four with okay. departments. I feel and better about these and C's. Yeah. No, because the idea yeah. is you want in the look yeah. I, in my perfect charter, and, and this is kind of coming closer to what a perfect charter would be from my perspective. Um, I would uh, really strip it down where you don't have any departments in your charter mm -hmm. except the essentials. I mm -hmm. think the essential departments are um, mm -hmm. essential uh, ones that run the government, procurement, civil service or related human resources, the corporation council, the, uh, you know, we have the elect the, the, the city and town clerk, we, uh, that's an elected official, but I'm just talking about the incubators that uh, operate the government. I agree. What you, and Board of Education obviously has to be delineated specifically, but I don't think public works should be in the charter. I don't think engineering should be in the charter. I think those functions should be laid out and departments should be created to serve those functions. Mm -hmm. And when you see my board and commission section, when I get over to you, get it over to you, we have some that are in the charter, some that were mandated by the charter, mm -hmm. but all the rest are up to the mayor and the board of reps to decide what boards and commissions should exist. And that goes to the historic nature of the of the age of 110 years. Yeah. It, that needed to be defined when they were combined. Yeah. So everybody understood what was going to happen. So you will see that. So it's different and it exists. And so we, we need to be more reflective. This of is good. Current uh, status. So this is what I can't do in a room by myself. Mm -hmm. oh, this, really? oh, this okay. discussion. No, no, this is okay. no, this is really critical. All right, okay, good. So where are we now? So now we're at four dash seven. I don't know why this is still here. Does anyone know what this is all about? Which one? Four seven? Yeah. Are there, and maybe Rick has an answer as somebody who's been around for a while here and, and Patsy. These are um, appointment powers not conferred upon the mayor. Um, go to the council. I mean, the council can create entities. Well, I, you know, I remember um, Are, is there the, the mayors that created task force for um, uh, public housing, affordable housing. Uh, health, health district. There was uh, one to um, um, <clears throat> consolidate our archives and uh the council has done that or the mayor uh well i'm trying to remember the mayor yeah. did that That's i served the on river for the health district too yeah I, did, uh, I really believe the only appointment that the council oversees in some communities is, board of assessment appeals council sometimes no, do that it's, it's not the only one i is almost their the appointment of their um assistant city clerk because that's the person the answers to. That's an employment. That's an employment. Like yeah. Yeah. It's not, that's the only one I can think of. I've had some communities where they want to try to change things to look like the General Assembly with the General Assembly. Yeah. They, they, and, yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. I, I no. think you should keep the, like, I think boards and commissions are quasi-executive well, functions. I, I think you're, they're done. Yeah. These sure. are council appointments to basically uh, that are not conferred upon the mayor right i'm assuming for boards and commissions so i well, wonder uh, uh, the, the council you know appoints people uh council people to um uh department committees uh and that's one of their functions that really? one of their complaints that they um well, they, wanted they, to have more authority to do that Council people to the committee, yes. which are amongst yes. their their They're, duties. That's, okay. yeah. Yeah. that's within their legislation. But not outside. That's not what this but is. There's no outsider that I believe is appointed directly by the common council 
to a committee or board. I, I can't think well, of any. What about fair housing? Nope, they have to go. The mayor uh, puts the names up and uh, council approves. Well, the mayor's office can uh, educate us to this, I think. We yeah, I, I've been asking about that. I, I really don't. Who have you asked? Alicia? Yeah, they, they, they review this and they, this has come back without any comment. Yeah, so I, I, I can't think of any. Yeah. yeah. I'll talk to court council and see if there's anything right. they, they see here. I can't think of that. The, the last portion of this is the compensation. Um, and I, um, mm. the way compensation uh, is addressed, and maybe we can, we're, I don't think we're going to address it this year. Is that my case? I, I, I don't think, think we it. should address it. This I, I year would like it's an election to. Year. Yeah. Right. But it has, it's in the charter, so it should stay in the it charter. Stay here, yeah. right? But I think yeah. we, we yeah. should not even entertain it when there's a municipal election going. So here's what I want to ask you. Because, uh, yes, I understand that politically. So let me explain how salaries are established for council members. One of the reasons, and I'm not advocating that we do it. I understand the political argument, but I want to give you the complete story, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a statute that um, requires, it, the council on its own in the budget, although in, in Norwalk, they don't have a lot of budgetary authority, but in most communities where council has some authority in their budget or they persuade the board of estimate or the mayor to put in a salary, you can have a salary increase. I mean, they, they uh, this cap it, yeah, this kind of, except the salary of the council, which will be said to 600. This is kind of locking it in, doesn't it? So let's say you didn't have this provision. Let's talk about if you didn't have this provision, they could adjust their salary um, in the budget. Um, <clears throat> subject to two things. One, there's a constitutional standard. In a two-year term, you can't raise your salary during your term. Mm -hmm. So this is the year you raise your salary. You put it in the budget this year so that in December or November, when you take office, hopefully in the future will be January, your increase will go into effect with your next term. Mm -hmm. um, but because the Constitution doesn't allow you to raise your own money, raise your for mayors or for council positions. For a mayor's salary, um, while that rule applies, once the council approves or once the board of estimate approves and it goes through your budget process, it's in the budget, the mayor's salary is in effect for the next term, beginning of the next term. If you have an increase for the council, that portion of the budget goes to referendum. There's a statute that requires a referendum. Really? Yeah. yeah. And so that's why I usually recommend placing some compensation if you want to raise the level you should be in the charter and have a cola attached to it whether it's you know there's some there's reasonable standards for raising the money again it's still subject to the constitutional limitation that you can't even if the cola goes up it doesn't get effective until the beginning of the next term or if you have a four-year term at the beginning of your third year in office would it make sense politically so i know we're not doing it but i wanted to explain how the law worked would it make sense that any salary increase? Well, well, we can't you know we can't raise it. I was going to say adding the provision saying what the state law is that you can they're subject to referendum anyhow. Um, you know uh, what we could do here, unless you think it's a real political brouhaha, is six hundred dollars or is otherwise may be established uh, by budget um, subject to referendum. Just state the law with the public. So if you Give them that up. Now, if they're not going to exercise the option, we shouldn't give it to them. But I just wanted to give you an alternative that we could put a clause in there that would permit an increase if the mayor and the council and the BET want. They did complain about that. Oh, they're, they're there are some members who would like to have an increase. Yeah, and but, wouldn't they? But, well, but we make it clear. Don't. Some don't. Okay. Awesome. But we make it clear that that can't do anything, but it, it, can, it has to go to referendum right. under any circumstance. Now, if by even raising it, it becomes a huge red flag, then yeah, I just want to give you context. Okay. That's all. So this might be a wild idea, but could we add a clause uh, um, establishing a, um, um, a say a six hundred dollar expense uh, allowance? They could do that expense allowance. Huh? There's an eighteen hundred dollar. Uh... They already get that in, in, in the budget for the council. I believe per person? Per person? No, per person no, no, I'm talking per person. Per, per, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I, I just think it's a good change. Uh, you know, that's just yeah. what yeah. it is. 
I because they they're that the council is divided on right. this. And issue. well, you also have the thing too. If it was a referendum, it has been to vote before, and it is gone down, crash and burned every single time. So how do they ever get a raise? They can't. How do they ever get a raise? They can't with this provision. They can't. It's one of those things that, like politics 101 that you know going in what you're going to be paid. And if you don't <laughs> like the salary, you don't. I was paid pay. that in 1967. <laughs> Does it make sense, though? In 1967, the yeah. world has changed a bit. A little bit. Of, here and there. New Haven had, uh, in my last I term, we had, a refer we had a yeah. charter change. Where uh, for my last two years of 10 years, I got $2,000. That is still the standard since 1989. They're changing it this year. But uh, to what? 6000 Yeah, 6000 The council so, was $47.13 uh, yeah. a month. Yeah. But she yeah. essentially just wants to sort of restate the norm. Like basically. What I want to say is, I want to have a clause that if they want to increase it, it is subject to a referendum. Absolutely. But that's by that's state, state law, yeah, but yeah, yeah, that is important as required by state yeah, law. Yeah. Be in there. Yeah. And that way, that be assuring the public that you're going to get if they exercise this, you're going to get a, a, a right a referendum. It's automatic. It's automatic. But even raising that, does that become a political red flag, <laughs> Patsy? I have to uh, rely on your. Yeah, it, you, know? you know, it's I don't know yet. I, 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 I don't know, maybe after our meeting next week, next week, we might get, in, we get to, some, yeah, see what they have yeah, to say. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, see what happens. Uh, but my idea about an expense account that has been brought up also. So do, is that possible? I think they can already do that without the charter. If it's not considered to be compensation, it, be a budget line. it would be a reimbursement. Mm -hmm. Right, so I would we, set up we, a we need to respond to that somehow, whatever we decide. We can't it's ignore the issue. Not a, we need to not respond. A charter issue. I would say it's not a charter issue. You need so to go first right now. That's no, the response. Yeah, not Perfect. a charter issue. Okay. Love it. <laughs> and because to me, this is so inconsistent that the mayor's salary is in the budget and can be changed without referendum, but the councils can't. Well, that's state law. Mm -hmm. I Let me play with language. I'm not saying that you've approved this, but yeah, and and we'll talk about it politically with some people. Is that that the compensation they get the six hundred dollars, although may be increased by budget, subject to referendum as required by state the general statutes, give them some flexibility so yeah. they want to politically yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, make right. this decision. Yeah, no, but even that it's, may it's, be it's politically untenable. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, there's a new court on that. One. That will be decided, but at least it gives them the option. I feel like not doing it would not. We wouldn't be doing our job. Like I think you're you're, you're going to clarify what can and cannot be done. Yeah. Right. Um, and then it's up to them to make right. And this is going to the council, yeah. right? It's going to the council. Let yeah. them look at it. Yeah. Let them make a political judgment. Um, and we're going to have a litany of things that we think need to be discussed in the next uh, revision. And then, and this is just for clarity. You know, there's been a lot of talk about in, in this in our charter that we say that there shall shall be another charter revision in X amount of years, yeah. three or whatever we decide, and and then also every five a review every five years. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that goes to this issue of the ability to make changes that we recognize this is an issue to be to be discussed manana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> manana. Kick the can. Not on our watch. <laughs> manana. That goes into, that goes into okay. the uh, chapter at the end. I okay. remember because I think. Yeah. Okay, um, now what? All right, so the next thing is 4-8 uh, is the procedures uh, for uh, enacting ordinances, no changes. From the uh, current um, current provisions. Okay, good. Um, Don't see anything on the next audit of accounts? Again, this is from the current charter. Um, what what is this green uh, thing here on the page seven? Um, it is oh, the, uh, the compensation uh, we just discussed. No, what? Why is that that green marker? That I think uh, I think I had a 
No, I, <laughs> I think I might have had the whole section in green. I see it. Yeah. I see it, but I, I yeah. didn't take that out. Okay. Yeah, I'll clean it up. I always think that there that means no, something. No. Yeah. Okay. In the case, in the case, no. Good. It's just a. Maybe my my fingers were shaky. I don't know. Okay. So we're now we're uh, audit of accounts again. Nothing changed here. The, I I only had one question, but I'll talk to now that they're getting done with the budget. I want to talk to the CFO about this. Uh, is this different than the annual municipal audit? I want to figure that out. I don't have an answer on that. And they have accountant qualifications. It's current. Let me make sure that. Yeah, it's general statutes, five years experience. I have been told in my Stanford experience that they're having enormous problems finding um, auditors, trained auditors oh, to yeah. work on audits. Well, I'm having that problem yeah. with uh, a simple audit, and it's taken us 18 yeah. months. Yeah, no, they're they're having real problems. And we have online in Florida. And we have all these charter requirements that you need to have yeah. to clear your surplus or your deficit yeah. by a certain date after the audited documents are done. And we're trying to figure out how to address that. With What's the reason for that? Um, not enough money in the field, number one, um, part of it. People don't want to be auditors. I don't know. We're finding that in a lot of different areas. We're not in, New, in New Haven, they're having a hard time. I, I've told New Haven, though, I think it's their salary levels, finding attorneys to work in-house. Mm -hmm. uh, Stanford has a pretty, pretty high level of payment for their municipal people. I think Norwalk is pretty good, too, with their in-house attorneys. New Haven is beauty, horrible, horrible. But they're having a big problem. I also see it in the city planning realm, um, where uh, the um, there used to be some really, really top-notch people coming out, and a lot of people from the best schools and the best programs are not becoming city planners. They're going to work uh, on Wall Street. And Maybe that's because there's a lot of contention in well, there could be in that too. public life. There could be that too, and and uh, and so there. It's a big crisis, I think, that municipalities are going to face going forward. 4-11, mm -hmm. you realize you have a referendum, uh, a petition to overrule here. I call it, I added the language petition to overrule. You have a referendum procedure in your current charter. I didn't change any of the words here yet. I don't know if I did my said and such run on this. I might have. I'll take a look. Um, but I didn't change anything. But the referendum section I put in here because it follows up legislative action. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah. once the mayor and the council are complete with their budgets and complete with their ordinances, this is where the referendum comes in and that's why it's here. And I uh, see that one change with working days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, now the question is, do you want to keep it? Is there a value? Have you ever had a referendum? I don't think a lot of people know about it. Or there would have been, I, I, but, but if you eliminated it, everybody would know, and they said, We don't want to get rid of that. I mean, right. so, yeah, I agree, and, and that could be challenged, All right. it, with regard to the four years. Yeah. Our suggestion, right. then, to then you leave it in here, it's yeah. another, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Down the road. it's another it's protection, the yeah. It's another, <laughs> yeah. I would, I would think if they don't know about it, you leave it. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and, and, and I just, what do you think? I, I, I don't think I know about this. I would leave it because I think if you take it out, yep. people say, there that's, you go, four year term, no right. referendum. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think take it's it out very, next time. very tied, tied to the four yeah, year issue. Time. Yeah. So you, you, are you okay with business days as opposed to working days? Yes, yeah. okay. very yeah. much. Yeah. All right. Um, I haven't read all of this. So. Well, this is all, I mean, I'll go through for an edit, but I'm not going through for changes. And that's, no. I didn't mean to hand out. Oh, okay. So Article 8 is, I think these are sections I'm actually seeking repeal on. Um, let me take a look at them. Which, where are are you now? On page 16. Oh. Because I'm not moving this departments and department heads. I think this is going to be 16. That was the page numbers. Page 16. Yeah, it's, uh, it's right after the blank page with the big stamp updated. Yep. I moved past. Yeah, it's right past the stamp. 
It's right at, at the end of the referendum process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yep. I think this is supposed to be my repeal sections. Let me just double check it. Yeah. Yeah, you Th there's, yeah there's all of these things that are um, authority of the council's streams, just not necessary. Um, <laughs> streets, sidewalks, building lines, ice and snow, public lighting. Um, notices for appointments of committees dealing with uh, highways and streets and these are all powers they have under the general statutes uh, and the court counsel's office hasn't given me um, now they do have this one on page maybe I'll move this over to the um, taxing district their power of paving streets in the fourth taxing district. district yeah so maybe that should move to the tax district section well, I'm, I I will study this over yeah. for next week. If you could take a look at those, yeah. but I think the taxing district one will go over to the taxing district. That yeah. Because there, there is some stuff in, like, for example, public lighting. There's some yeah, well, you see, because that's different. Some, it's in just the, the first, fourth, and sixth. Yeah. yeah, this may yeah. go to the taxing district. Yeah. There's, there's one that's very close to my heart, and that is the definition between sidewalks and paved walks. And public. Yeah. And and so if we take a look at that, let me know. Yeah, we take all this out, uh, then uh then it just reverts to department heads making these kind of decisions. No, 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 no. The council still has the authority. Okay. But it's under state statutes, not under the special act. They still have authority mm -hmm. to or, to adopt these uh, ordinances to mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. still do it. Why don't you look at these yeah, sections? I, no, please. I, yeah, I look at these sections. Tell me what your I experience have read in the it before. Yeah, you know, no, but I'm you're, saying that yeah. if you believe that there is something unique and special about the way it's done in this regard, we yeah. will keep it. Yep. Period. Okay. I will. So, but I, out of ignorance, I have a question. Uh, on page 21, where it says paving streets, fourth taxing district. Mm -hmm. See, That's that, one I just pointed out. I, oh, may, I know. That's, I may kick that into the taxing district section. Yeah, because that's where, I mean, if I live in the fourth district, voting district in the city, I don't know that I this would. This is the fourth taxing district. Fourth taxing district, no, voting district. Not that's why this will go. Yeah, no, but I'm saying if I live in the fourth voting district, I live in my community, my roads are crap. I want, I, I want to know who I can go to and have one on one. The council. Maybe. But the, the point that is that if he doesn't understand where to go, we need to have a document right. that instructs him where to go. Right. Well, one of the problems, my well, answer, I, I, my I only said council, because it's one of the problems is they, they have no budgetary amendment. They're, they have no statute. ability, but paving the streets is a capital side. Council does have more of a role on the capital side. But when, for, so let's go to sewers instead, because that makes a, a, a change. You go when you get a sewer, you go from one district to the other, or to the state. No, no, no. Tax, no, tax. A lot of problems. You can be next that. door to each other, at which you articulated in another meeting, and you you could be in the fourth, or the next door neighbor could be in the fifth. Right. If they can't hook up. To the sewer for some reason, which has to be proven. Mm -hmm. It's it's just so damn complicated. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, right. And it also gives the ability, because I have dealt with this in in uh, in Cranberry, where right along Route 53, matter of fact, mm -hmm. where there's drainage issue problems, mm -hmm. big ones. Mm -hmm. And it gets punted back and forth between the city, the council, the taxing, and the state. You're talking about the White Barn area? Well, that was even that area, but back closer. Mm -hmm. down, yeah. You know, it's south of it's the same yeah. water crisis. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, look at the, please look yeah, at those. It's very complicated. Look at those sections. And yeah, it's, I love yeah, it. it's complicated and it's frustrating for the people that live in those areas. If we were because they don't know where to go, they get kicked from one to the other. Okay, so in looking at these sections, what are we looking at them for? Look you know and I mean? see if you think, based on your knowledge and experience, 
that wow. these sections are required to alert the public to the fact that these responsibilities exist somewhere. Now, the Clarity. taxing district ones, I'm going to move into the taxing district. I'll, I'll tell you that. They'll move into the taxing district sections. But also take a look at the very end of the section on page 23. There's an end note. And the end note goes from A through O. And that explains why I have eliminated. It gives you the statutory reference that exists for every section I've eliminated mm -hmm. to show you that there's statutes that govern most of these things. So that, that's why I put it in. I don't want, I'm not doing hocus pocus. I want everybody to know that there's a logic and a rationale to how I um, move these things around and why I move them around. Uh, you know, and let me just say two things. Belts and suspenders, right? Not attractive look, right? To wear belt and suspenders, yeah, right? Depends. I mean, right. Uh, depends on what kind of belt and suspender, I suppose. But the, but I have no problem, and I'm, I'll say this to the chair, with belts and suspenders if we think it's necessary to make the public comfortable. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And so that's we don't my, care what it looks like. If it's comfortable and it works, that's keep your my pants focus. up. That's keep my your focus. pants up. I agree with yeah. that. Then and, that's the answer. So, and it gets us with Yeah. So I don't want any of my biases to get in the way of an appropriate belt and <laughs> suspenders issue. Got it? I got it. Right. Right. I do, but I have one other question. Yes, sir. I'm the one. You got to keep catching me up here. So we move this, what we're talking about, into the taxing district section. Not all of it, just the ones that relate to the Okay, the ones right. It, so let's stay on streets, paving, sewers, that sort of thing. Does that mean that the charter applies and, and the taxing districts are the ones who are in charge of that sort of thing? Or is it really the council no, districts? No, no, the council has functions in the count. You're going to see when you see the taxing district section. Mm -hmm. um, I have moved out of this chapter council provisions that go into the, or, or some chapter that go into the taxing district section because the council plays a role okay. with the taxing districts. Mm -hmm. And so instead of the voters having to look for it in the council section, you will see the responsibilities of the council with, per, pertaining to the taxing districts, A, B, C, D. Okay. So whatever the powers are now, it's status quo. Whatever the powers are now will be the powers then. And can we have the key A, B, C? Yeah. Rather, first, second, third, and sixth. Yeah. And what complicates it even further for you is that, as I mentioned. Oh, I wasn't talking about this. I know that. Okay. But, but you yeah. see, that's the point. Yeah. That's the very point. Because every time you say the word dis district, there are different parameters that people respond to. And different and, interpretations. And he's yeah. responding to one and you're responding to another. And that's my example. No, I was listening. Question. One, two, three, four. I, I was just listing it. Uh, I wasn't, I was doing a list. Of, uh, no, but you were right. All right. Yeah, you were You were right. Yeah. It's just- A delineation. That is like where it. the damn confusion is. Exactly. And it's so yeah. prevalent and- and and. You'll uh, see what it, it is. But my point, point I was trying to make is the status quo. Oh. Nothing yeah. is changing. We're moving them into their section, and the council powers with regard to the taxing districts will be in the taxing district sections with a couple. Is of it possible sections. to also have in the council part just a short something that tells people to go to the taxing districts to see where the council? Because my thought is, see, for me, I'd start at the council because I wouldn't want to read about the taxing districts. So if it's you like, have, you know, if, if let's be correct. So yeah. if you have a water problem, right? If you have a an electric service problem, or you have a road, you know, potholes in mm -hmm. front of your house, mm -hmm. whatever, you have to go to three different places, entities, possibly, you know, to to because the water district, the water service is owned by the first and second taxing districts, okay? The, <clears throat> the electric is owned by the second and third taxing districts. Your streets are in the whole city taxing district. So it's just enormous. And, and so much of it is, is structured also on the sewer. And that's the biggest one from the city's point of view. When they add people into and the and the ultimate goal is to get everybody on a on a municipal sewer system, 
but if you're adding somebody, they move from one taxing district to another. So if somebody were going to look at the charter though, I'm not sure if I know why they would start there. Would they look to, under the council or would they look to find their information about getting their sewer done? Or would they look in the taxing districts? And all I'm asking is they need to know where to look. Can you move this stuff to the taxing districts? Can there be something in the council part to tell people what, to go to the council? So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna add a provision in the general powers of the um, council. You have the general grant of authority, you have the legislative actions, and I may add to the legislative actions right now, it's one through 15. I may add a 16 that says um, the further powers of the council with regard to the taxing districts are set forth in article, whatever mm -hmm. the taxing mm -hmm. district article good. is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that I you know that this yeah. isn't the whole story. Right. You want to see what the council section powers are with regard to the taxing districts in the taxing district. Right. Yeah. That would help. Right. No, that was very helpful. Yeah. Thank you. But wouldn't you have to do that then for all the other parts of the council? So if you know. Really, um, so if I want to know about, I'm, I'm just thinking, um, yeah. I'm sorry, no. What if you wanted to know what? what? I'm just saying if you single out um, the the districts, the taxing districts vis-a-vis um, -vis the council, what about the other powers of the council that are listed here that we're proposing to take out? Like, so we yeah, to reference them somewhere. I think we have to reference general statutes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll make a reference specifically. You would just take them out. You, you reference the, in the yeah. police charter. Yeah. That you can, the other ones besides the tax. Yeah, because you're focused on that, but I would yes. want to know about my, I don't know, sidewalks. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's when you say sidewalks, you see, there's a big, <laughs> this is how I got involved in politics. <laughs> 60 years ago. Like, the difference between, between, between what a sidewalk is and a footpath. Yeah. So so right. I think I've already covered that, Angela. Yeah. Um, in 4-4A, the Common Council shall have the authority to take such actions as one, as may be one, necessarily or fairly implied in or incident to the powers expressly granted by law, including but not limited to the general statutes and special acts. And two, um, maybe would that be enough? Where is that? To know? In on page three, three. Yeah. is that enough? Point? Would that be enough for folks to know what it could be? Because right now in the charter, you have all these things listed. And so, my question is if you just referred to the statutes in the way you've just described, would that right. be enough, right? To get people where they need to be, exactly. Well, see, I think you're touching on something there because I think there's a couple of issues. One is yet what is in here. Charter-wise, I think there are people, and I'm not naming names for everybody to name, but I want to eliminate as much as possible those who are responsible to take care of things for citizens, being able to kick the can down the road to the next department because, well, I, I'm not, I can't do that. That's not what I can handle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's more than that. It's it's not a department. But the districts are not departments. No, I understand. Yeah, but you can get the runaround big time by people just saying, "Well, that's not permissible for me." You need to call the first tax and we just mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and so the why needs to be articulated. It's part of the and a why. clear path. Yes. Yeah. Which we so, can say. I mean, I would never buy a problem. So would never go to the city charter. <laughs> well, exactly. This is right. Try to, to try to solve my problems, <laughs> but I but I want to be able to call either my council person or somebody that works for the city that would go to do it and would know who to go to yeah. and do it. Right. Not give me some bull that oh well that's because I get no I don't want to hear that. So, with regard to the issue, Angela. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I could add a subparagraph 17 that with regard to special act powers repealed by this charter, uh, such authority is established under the general statutes or in, in accordance with the general statutes. Uh, and it is the word repealed or eliminated? Repeals what we've done. We, we can say eliminated. And yeah. there is a definition of general statute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's, I would put salt. I would add number 17. And the other thing we can do, guys. If you want to hedge your bets and see how everything works, and I've said this to people, 
remember that's the reason I want to have that second volume, is uh, like I did in Hartford. If people are uncomfortable eliminating all of this stuff, we can have a section on special act provisions of the charter uh, that uh, may be effective or may not be effective. I wouldn't say that part, but you could just have, you know, historical special act provisions of the charter. If we're not comfortable eliminating some of these things, just put it in that chapter. Yeah, it doesn't get in the way of the day-to-day -day business. And there may be a power that somebody may want to enhance, somebody may want to utilize that was adopted in 1913 that will sit out there. That's another alternative. It doesn't get rid of pay. You know. Well, there's one that has a lot of emotional. Um, Would you tell me about it? Yeah, okay. I have a chance to look at yeah, it. But, yeah. it's, but I'll play around the language. To the it's, you know, charging people to put uh, sidewalks in front of their homes when they get sewer gotcha. protection. And so I, I'm going to create thing. a new subpart 16 to accommodate the mm -hmm. Carl issue on, on the special, uh, on the um, on the taxing districts. And Angela, the general ones to deal with Angela's one as well. Okay. So that's okay. a reference. Can you just show us which ones, just for my, which ones are you getting rid of? Page to page. Yeah, yeah, let's have the page well, so that I have. A lot of those are, uh, you know, I'll get your red line. I'll show you a red line. Uh, send you a red line. I'm just going to check them off. Like, and then I can read them and, and help. Well, I can go. I, I can go through. I can read that and see what you Talking about. I can go through. Okay. Um, I think it's just all the back ones here. No, it's not an issue. Well, it's some of those, yeah. But there's a lot of others that are eliminated. I didn't give you a red line because it was so, be a, such a messy red line. Um, okay, you don't have to do it. Anymore. I'm happy to do it. Okay. All right. But what I can do, all right. But what I can do is I can send you. I will send you Article Four. Okay. Before I change it. So you won't see a red line, but you'll see the list. Okay. All right. All right. Send out four with special act. So when are we going to revisit this section? I'll I'll mark it up and get it back to you for Wednesday's meeting. Okay. Okay, so let's go over um, what oops, what we're mayor. doing. Want to do mayor next? Mayor. Um, we do the mayor section today. Yeah, yeah. Before we leave. Okay. Because then all the chapters you guys have in your hands have been gone through, and I can clean them up and get them okay. back to you. Yeah. This is where we are right now. And then I hope by Wednesday to have departments and boards and commissions in your hand, and that's it. That's the that the big enchilada. The mayor is everybody okay? It's eleven thirty. Yeah. yeah. No, no bio break. Anybody? I'm okay. No, but if you need to, do it. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just okay. want to. I just need, I'm not fine because I can't find what, what we're dealing with here. So it should be at the end. At the end of the it should be wrapped right. in the common council, should be the mayor. Yeah, okay. if you go past what page, what page, page number? It's after There's page, no page number on it, but it's after page 25. Okay, that helps. It's at the very end of the mayor of the. Okay. Uh, Last page, yeah. Right behind the last. Yeah. See, yeah. I have two. I have two this versions, page. and yeah, so okay. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Article five is the mayor. Right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now, um, there's not much in here, actually, uh, and they're still giving me some other comments from the mayor's office on this. But uh, this is uh, so the compensation is here. Yeah, 5-1 is the general provision that's new. Um, although I think it's actually a, it actually is a modification of the current standard. So you already have that in your current chart. But it says that his salary or their salary is uh, set by the council. Correct. But you have, uh, mentioned earlier it's set through the budget. Well, yeah, well that's interesting. Uh, so the council has to do it but then it goes into the budget. You're right. In right. your town. Yeah. Because no, I said what I said was council doesn't have a lot of authority over the budget. Um, uh, but they set the so be curious to see how you do this in I, your town. Yeah. Whether it's done by ordinance I think or by resolution. By, you know, I, uh, or if it's yeah. done by if it's done by budget, it would seem to me the council would have an argument that that section we get to debate. I know. That's why I brought it up earlier. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Okay. Yeah. All right. But this is the current language, but they said it. 
and uh, you know. And it used to be there was twenty. It was twenty five thousand in in another version, or the original version, or whatever it was. Um, <clears throat> And I don't know if, you know, if it can be established from time to time or, you know, whatever, but well, I we need that, to look to see what this is. I happening. think it's, I think it's, uh, it's an interesting power. I'd be curious to see how it is exercised. How is this exercise? I didn't think anything of it. I mean, look, in, in, in Stanford and Norwalk, you have very unusual, very different systems than a lot of other cities. Now in Stanford, the council and the, what they call the board of finance, do have line authority to reduce lines um, in the budget. In Norwalk, you don't. In Norwalk, the council simply uh, proves the, the cap. It goes back to the Board of Estimate and the mayor uh, to deal with the lines. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's closer to kind of an RTM town meeting form of government uh, where the, uh, the public plays a small role, but not a big role. And, and that's the same true, the same is true here with our council. So the powers and duties are pretty, um, uh, I don't think I've changed anything in them. There, there's a few things I've eliminated. Mayoral appointments. Right, so I, under, where is he uh, part of the Board of Education in this section? In the Board of Education section. But not in not this section. Here. No, no, not in here. I don't. Yeah, I don't repeat that. And, uh, He's redundant. But it, yeah. But it would seem that, okay, what powers does the, the mayor have? Oh, he, he's, he's chair of, ex officio chair of the board. board of education. He's also the presiding officer of the council. Do you have that in there? That's, that's in the council section. Oh, the police. So I think that you're saying yeah. and fire. Fire. Oh, yes, it's here. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, yeah, I do think there's. Add Board of Ed? Uh, yeah, I would add the Board of Ed. I don't know if anybody else agrees, but. Oh, the Board of Ed's going to say that's an encroachment. It's an encroachment. Uh, well, so, but, but it's more. I mean, he, he's also uh, a fire police, the health. Yes, yeah, so the health department. Using to add yeah, so yeah, if right. you add them all. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean. Well, there's a lot of people who are being redundant it's already in the charters. There's a lot of citizens yeah. think he already is. In addition them. to mm -hmm. section articulated in section whatever, so that it's tied together. Mm. I don't want to leave any out. So uh, that's I know. The thing. So, yeah, so we have there's to look. so many of them. Well, we make a general statement. Yeah, yeah can you do that? But well, he is yeah, the chief executive. executive. Yeah. Of other boards and commissions. Yes. So you put that in without putting them all in. As, as, uh, yeah. as defined in the charter or something. Some, something. There are more powers than just these. Which is, yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Including a special of all. Because I wouldn't, I mean, if I were to find out what the mayor does, I wouldn't necessarily be looking at the board of it in the no, board of it. No, right. or each section. You shouldn't have to look. look. Each section. Mm -hmm. the, the point is, you shouldn't have to look. It should be. Right there, like that. I just. I agree. All right. Consensus across the aisle. What's the consensus? <laughs> what um, we he's listening. I think the consensus is that, that we say the, the mayor serves as ex officio member and or chair of boards and commissions. Boards and commissions. Otherwise, set forth. In the chair. Totally agree. Right. Yeah. yeah. Without delineating right. the individual, yeah. okay. because there's no really somebody. Needs somebody. But we got to make sure the board of bed is in that section. <laughs> no, it isn't the board of exactly. yeah. you know, I don't like your attitude there. <laughs> I don't play. You got my email, right? Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> on tape, saying something I probably shouldn't have. Uh, we just pick something. Well, okay. The way you're looking for that, I only say that there's a, an awful lot of people that it served. And different boards and commissions and chair people in this town that think that they have no responsibility to report to the mayor or anybody. Yeah, the mayor is excellent. They run their own their own little country. Right. He, he's a non-voting member of the board of ed. Um, yes, but yes. he is. And the council unless yeah. there's a tie too. Yeah, yeah. The, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's here right in the beginning. We, there was one instance when I was on the council and the mayor tried to uh, break a tie. And I said, nope, uh, you better check the charter, Mayor. And we went to court. 
Oh. And I won. Which man? Frank Zulov. You went which to, was like you went to war with Frank Zulov. God, my, and you lived to tell it. Yeah, yeah. It was a Yeah, you know. it was over. In those <laughs> years, it was over a subdivision. The council <laughs> had final approval on subdivisions, which they don't have anymore. Um, but yeah, why don't they have it anymore? Because they changed what the development. Term. They changed it in the trunk. I think it was Ledgebrook. Was it Ledgebrook? Yeah. I was thinking so it was he, that area. Right. Uh, he can break a tie. He can vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but the, yeah. this was a special part of the charter where where the subdivisions went to the town of and they had to have a safety rule to reject the safety issue in order to reject it. That's what was up and down. Couldn't manipulate it. You could just approve or not. And uh, right. and there was major issues. Mm -hmm. So uh, in 5-3, we have a lot of and yellow language here that no one's commenting on. Still <laughs> back. I'm back. You can, you can well, hear him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's already in the charter. We kind of dealt with that. Yeah, let me see if, yeah, let me see how this compares. That's good. Thank you. Uh, all right, we were convinced. We're in 5-3 A and B, yeah. there already is in your charter a limitation like the one we adopted yes. in the other. I'm going to see if they're consistent. I want to see, does this match? And I'll take it out and enhance the one we've done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that is helpful that we can refer. No, I know what I like the idea is that we're not changing yeah. anything this is the law that you have yeah. and we could cite it in that section as opposed to being new it is right. derived to these sections mm -hmm. move to so everything in yellow is things you've made some changes or you know everything yellow? in yellow is i was wondering whether we had already done this or whether it needed to be done again mm -hmm. but it's been done so we're in good shape okay um now I, people keep telling me that because I keep asking, do you have a uh, civil service system? Do you have a merit system? Are there classified and unclassified employees? And people said, no, no, we just do it differently. I said, but in your charter, there's a reference to classified service. I don't know. I have no input yeah. on that. Sorry. And that's why I keep getting confused, because I want to make sure that the, there's no... You probably get a different answer from who you talk to. Yeah. I think... And in this part that we were talking about before October 1st, I thought we would set 60 days in the other one. So yeah, so we'll just... we'll go with our position, but okay. yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, I'll I'll follow up on the this. Classified service. I'll find out what that is and what that means because because they I've seen the term merit. And then when I call it the merit system, well, we don't have a merit system, but we do it according to merit. Oh, we have, Rick. Um how do you how do you judge your employees and as far as pay raises, firing, hiring? <laughs> the unions really run the show. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's what you have yeah. collective bargaining. We have, we have collective regiment. bargaining. You have a collective bargaining. Yeah, collective bargaining. Yep. Yeah. So and there's different divisions you, within that too. That Wonderful. Oh no, yeah, it's yeah. so you can't fire. The the next change right. is, and we don't have too much left here, guys. You'll be able to go for lunch or play golf or whatever it is you do on Saturdays. Um, discussion points. Usually rest, but after this meeting, drink. <laughs> after this. <laughs> drink. And this is go to the boxing ring and, you know, take this. A this is a pub, pub conversation. Yeah. Uh, discussion point two. Authority upon taking office, the mayor. Um, I, I just wasn't sure. Oh. Whether that was needed, limitation. Um, now, this is limitation authority again. Is similar to what we did in Article mm -hmm. One through Three. Let me see how that jives with that. Same and temporary. Then temporary vacancy. Yeah, we just we didn't want somebody making a bunch of changes. Well, I don't think right. it says in and what we did that it has to be done on the day he takes they take office because that uh that when i read that that really jumped out at me yeah that that how practical that is yeah you can't do and that. and i don't it's not in the you can't do it way. yeah so i think this can go away mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so the mayor's saying, office you're not you're saying that the mayor can't make any changes so they 
take office. Right. Yeah, that's, I think we did it. On either side. And we've created this transition office to give the mayor yeah. elect a place to be. To exactly. Facilitate yeah. it. Let's see, see, the mayor. And we put that other in there so that somebody yeah, this doesn't make vacancy. a lot of uh, changes just prior to the general election. Yeah. yeah, this temporary vacancy provision. No one ever got back to me on my question. Is this a power the mayor cares about? It's been yeah. you guys, I, I, I don't think it's even I think that goes away. I don't think it's needed. Yeah, because it's, so much of this is governed by collective bargaining. Uh, yeah. Absences. You, you, you can't. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're fine. So this is down. an appointed. Uh, well, it's so, in any so, some, some point or elective office. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, um, but it's elected. What what elected officer is he going to appointed temporary but, vacancy? So you can't temporarily put a council member on or a board of education. No, right? it, it's a yeah. lame duck type of. But you see my point because it does yeah, talk but, about elective officers. So I don't. I have but, no idea what that means. Well, the appointed part of it is worth considering keeping. Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know either know about what you're talking about elected, but the appointed part should be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but they're not temporary. If, they, if, if a member of a board of commission. Well, it could be. Yeah. So you're saying that uh, if Diane Feinstein was on the um, uh, Planning and Zoning Commission and was showing the condition she had right now mm -hmm. and she said relieve me for a few months then the mayor has the ability under this to put somebody on there in her place no i i don't see that as something you want to do I, that's what that's the way i'm reading it and then with regard to um i suppose if you have a department head or one of what they call the chiefs the, the, chiefs, the chiefs are, are appointed yeah which are appointed by the mayor I suppose the mayor should have the flexibility to be able to appoint somebody to be a temporary chief. The chief's going to be out for three or four months, and you want to make sure that. Uh, and there's another section yeah, where. Let's, let's, that let's, I can't we that 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 section is, yeah, yeah, that yeah. where they can move, let's, move personnel from one look, location to another. Departments. Okay. Right? That, that's how they want. Right. Then on the next page, term of appointment. Appointment shall serve the term. Well, that's pretty standard. Yeah, this should be moved. And vacancies. Okay. Uh, th these I have not moved. Yeah, these these will be dealt with. I, I'll make sure that they're, if they're not dealt with. Go. Yeah, so I have to move these. Yeah, I was looking for comment uh, on some of those and I didn't get it. Uh, the organization of the office is pretty, it's new language, but it kind of, you know, the mayor can appoint a chief of staff and other clerical uh, and subject matter assistance for which sufficient funds shall be appropriated in the operating budget. And then it's the authority on the division chief. What I'm not clear about is it looks like there's five, but they actually claim that they have four. I'm, 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 I wasn't with you, I'm sorry. Okay, Where in 5.5A, uh, a, a B rather, 5.5B. Yes, there's up to five divisions. I put five chiefs. because that's, the, the, look yeah. at the organizational chart. They had somebody called the HR chief but I don't think that's good. But why? I don't see four. Uh, there's no any number here. No, there's five. Five. In the it's second, five. The second line. Oh, you're, oh. Five. Well, it should. There shouldn't be a that, specific number. So many it, times. Since it shouldn't have four, five, six, seven. But whatever. The, you know. It should be general. Any chief of staff or, or no? Well, it's not chief of staff. staff this is the division, division chief. chief. All right. So that's sort of a whole new. So division chief. Somebody. This yeah. is. Yeah, what's a division cheaper? So what they've done is you'll see this. It's new. It's new. You'll see this in the department section, and I'm still playing with it a little bit mm -hmm. uh, because I tried to follow what their system was. You need to get an organization in the yeah, staff. Okay. Have you guys had? I did the get one. Chart? But it's the organization yeah. chart. I'll send it out to you. It, it, yeah. But what, what's an? You have to name a name. But what's an example of a division it's chief? For example, chief in. Staff. No, 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 that's, no. no. Oh, economic and uh, community right. development. development. There's a chief, there's a human resources and personnel right. chief, there's an operations and public chief. Right. That changed. So all the departments under those realms are the chiefs. Now in New Haven, and, I, and I've 
at which Alicia Alicia knows New Haven pretty well, mm -hmm. having served De Stefano, Mayor De Stefano there. Um, uh, New Haven gives the mayor to point up to X number of coordinators, four coordinators. They're not locked in. And so a mayor mm -hmm. can reallocate which departments go under a chief administrative officer, which goes under a human resources director or coordinator. Um, and so I think we're going to, I'm going to make some changes in the department section. Um, because that's still being worked on and get it to you early next week that that basically doesn't follow the organizational chart, but but lays out these are the functions again. What you need to really do is yeah. look at the old organization organization chart and the new one. Then you'll be able to see where yeah. it's dropped. Because it's very different. It's a cheap, it's almost like a cabinet yeah. that's been put in the middle and then everything is dropped down. Yeah, because you have you have these financial and operational functions again, as I've told you. Yeah. Those are the only ones I'd list. So the, yeah. the, the, a good example is the building department now is under the economic development chief. Right. And we went that, from that's, department head meetings. That's a big, big change. Right. And we used to, if, if it's an organizational issue, do we need to specify five? Like, does it, what that's what no, that's 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 Yeah, no. stick it out. I wouldn't yeah. put a number no. there. Except, except for the fact, well, and it would be limited by budget. I mean, right. but, but remember, the it is anything that yeah. line item according to the budget. Yeah. Right. But, that's, but that's, this yeah. gives the mayor the ability to rearrange departments. Yeah. Hmm. The mayor and or mayor and the city council, or just the mayor? No, the mayor and yeah, yeah. No, the yeah. reorganization is yeah. so, mayor and the city council. Are any of these chiefs in a union or not in union? No, no, they're not. No, they're, no, these are totally at will employees. So they're okay. department is different, but they're at will. Okay. Yeah, I love that term. Yeah, that works. Uh, why don't we put subject to approval by the council on the district on the uh, chiefs? Oh, but we better. I don't think you'll see that. Yeah, you'll you that'll get knocked out. Sorry, I'll say it straight out. <laughs> what did you say, Rick? That was a knockdown strip. All right. I'm just saying that oh, I just um, that came out, but oh, it's true. <laughs> All right. So uh the city clerk stuff is relatively new, although it's historical as well. Is that um I ran this uh this is all on the charter. Um is that section five point five dash six? Section five dash six five. Five dash five. Five five a city clerk. Oh, it should be five dash six. Thank you, oh, Michael. Michael. Michael's, <laughs> Michael's catch is good. Oh, that's that's called the duh. Right at the end. Yeah, right at the end. Uh, duh. I got it. I missed it. It's right after the organization of the office of the mayor. And that's pretty much it. Then you'll see the sections for repeals. Take a look at those. Uh that I don't think are necessary. So which clerk position was it we were going to eliminate? The city or the town? We're not limiting any of them. I'm just kidding. I think it was the town's that you're you really you're in the city garden. Rick's listening. Yeah. Rick, I think it was Rick's motion. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think right. But this does not conform to our no Jan the first business day in January. So I, this is saying that uh, I didn't fix that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fix this. It's um, the date. Yeah, I didn't change it. Here. Yeah, I, I I haven't read all this, so I'm sure I'll have. So to read, read it over again, and you'll get a red line for the other for, on, on uh, Wednesday night. That's it. It's, yeah, that is it. Uh, I'll tell you about boards and commissions briefly, unless everybody's dying to get out to lunch right now. No, uh, and, I'm dying um, to get this done. No, well, no, look, look, I want to just tell you from the bottom of my heart, this was an incredibly productive day. Um, it feels it, like it. The stuff that we've yeah. done. And I want you to feel more comfortable with where we are. I mean, it's nerve wracking. I was just saying to my wife this morning, she says, you said you're working awfully hard. I said, I love what I do, though, so I'm, I'm happy with that, but I'm also getting to my most nervous period, and I've got three of them, and so getting these things, and that's why I, I, I say the nits are going to continue to be fixed as we go through the process, and and I beg everybody, I, I beg members of the council, read it and tell me where we're wrong, tell me where we missed something, tell me where a sentence isn't complete, or a clause is, is not proper, or whatever it may be, um, but we're getting there. 
So the last two sections are uh, boards and commissions and departments. And just to give you a, a preview, uh, a little bit of a preview, um, uh, we are, um, I, I establish in here things that are not in the charter. How do you create a board of commission? What are the elements of a board of commission? What do boards and commissions do? We talked about this a little earlier, the public interest, that you're serving the public interest. That kind of language which doesn't exist in your charter is here. Um, the requirement to interact with the public. Again, we were talking about transparency and public interaction. So there's a whole, you'll see when you get it in 7 1 at the beginning, all this stuff that is constitutional. That's what a charter is. It really says these are the rights. This is how you do it. Every commission should have a chair and, and there should be regular meetings and there should be record, record keeping yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Then it goes into the boards and commissions that are established by charter. There's only going to be three of them. Yeah, three uh, of them. Board of Estimate and Taxation, Police Commission, Fire Commission. Um, the mayor's recommending an increase in the number of police commissioners and fire commissioners. So it'll be four instead of two with the mayor serving as the voting chair. But there will be up to four citizens. I think the idea is with, with civilian review and those types of issues, the mayor wanted to expand the number of, of members of the public that would be on those two entities. Boards and commissions that are required by the charter. Um, and, and again, you, the call is up to you in the end, but the ones I'm recommending are the Board of Assessment Appeals, P&Z, Conservation Commission, ZBA. I'm putting in the Board of Ethics. Um, I, your Board of Ethics exists, but it's not mandated by charter. It really should be. I personally would put the Board of Ethics in the first category. This is the Board of Ethics. This is the structure. You can't get rid of it without a charter revision. Um, and because I think a board of ethics is an important public statement. That's my view. Not, and if you direct me in that way, we'll kick it up. Uh, then there's two other categories, boards and commissions established by ordinance, uh, or as may otherwise be prescribed by the general statutes. You're going to find that there's a whole bunch of boards and commissions that are not mentioned here, and they won't be mentioned here unless you think they should go into a category. And I'll give you some examples. I mean, I, the ones that are not mentioned are Arts Commission, Bike Walk Advisory Commission, Board of Health is not mentioned. Think Board of Health. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big, yeah. Big board of Condemnation, Boarding Build of Appeal, Building Board of Appeals, uh, Commission on the Status of Women, Fair Housing Advisory Commission, Fair Rent Commission, Five Mile River Commission, which is a multi-town commission, Harbor Management. I went through the book and went through all of them. Um, Historical Commission, the Human Relations Commission, Library Board is not there, which is a little unusual. It's, this is, yeah. it, it's, uh, it, it needs to be addressed because yeah. there's a conflict. You know, first of all, I'm vice chairman of the Library Board, uh, and there's concern. So what I'll do is I'll make sure when I send it over to you that I will send what I think is the complete list of boards and commissions that are not addressed by the Charter. It helps you make a judgment call. Yeah. And attached to that will be the ordinance authority. So it'll be easy enough to flip it in if we have to flip it in. So, the authority, not me. authority to have them made on Correct. the charter. Yeah. Okay. So, or, or two, two things. One, like, for example, I recommend that you put the ethics board as a structured board in the charter, the same way the BET is there and the police commission, mm -hmm. fire commission. The, other, the next category are those commissions you need to have. Um, surprisingly, the library board is not in your charter. It's really unusual. That well, it's not that's, and it's, and I, it is there someplace. I've read it twice, two different places, because it's a department. No, the library department is there. Oh, oh, yeah, the library, the, 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 the library is there. But yeah, the, the, and, and yes. so the state statutes and our charter are. Yeah, the library is definitely here. Yeah, they're in conflict with each other. No, no, the state statute that everybody cites as the standard for library boards is a, what I call a default statute. Um, you have these with police commissions, fire commissions. Those statutes exist for communities that don't have charters. So if you don't have a charter, that's your wow. library board. That's your library board. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a charter, that's your police commission. Mm -hmm. That's your fire commission. You know what, Steve? In, in 10 years, with people talking about this, no one has ever articulated oh, I, that so yeah, clearly. Yeah. We're, and we're, it's a problem. We're going through a big study that I can't really talk about right now at the state level 
on Title VII, and I have been advocating for years, uh, and I pushed the legislature to do the study. Um, we need to fix this so that people that I'm tired of people coming to me, that's not the proper composition of the library board. That's the one that I get the most of. I had the police union saying, oh, you put X number of people on that commission. The statute says, no, the statute is not for us. The stat we, we're a home rule police commission. We're putting anybody on we want. We have we actually created a nine district. But the commission. powers are yeah. in conflict with each other. But here. the powers don't necessarily. Yeah. yeah. But look, let me tell you what I do do. Those powers that are delineated in the default statutes are pretty good. And so when I'm creating a new entity, I will very often take the powers from the default yeah. statute yeah. Oh. because there may be, you'll understand this, case law uh, that has been decided under those statutes. That put it together. And so why not take advantage of a body of law and apply it to you? But it's not automatic that it applies. And we can pick and choose. Uh, my police commission in Hamden has all the elements of a police commission statute for a default community, but we've added a lot with police reform issues and things like that. So, so yeah. that's so that's that's a preview of things to come. Mm -hmm. Big issues that I'm trying to resolve, and right now you will see in the first draft, because I don't think it'll be resolved when you get it, is what the heck is the police benefit fund? What is the um, fire? Um, there's a there's a fireman there's a fireman's fund also yeah fireman's benefit fund um, we are recommending repeal of the tax commissioners and board of relief I think it's a probably a Roosevelt era entity of some sort and the planning commission um, because we we have the planning commission dealt with other ways but there is a planning commission in your charter that you don't use because you had this ordinance that kind of superseded it, even though that's not legal. Uh, whatever the case may be, we're going to fix that. But I'm hoping that we're going to find out that the police benefit fund and the fireman's benefit fund have been supplanted by the pension commission. I believe that. If it has, definitively, that's going to be coming out. That's that's going to be coming out. So that's a preview of that. Yes. Yes. The, the, they're, they're well taken care of. Uh, much yeah, is there any criteria much for some better. of these being placed in the charter? It's a, it's, it's your call. Yes, it's, it's your judgment call. But, but, how, but mm -hmm. there are criteria with some of the place, things being placed into the charter, like the library or human relations, or is there any criteria? That's all I want to know. It's our call. Well, it's but, your call. I mean, there's some things that are so critical and so essential. You have to decide what those critical and essential services are that you believe are durable that will be a critical service 15 years from now, 10 years from now, okay. 50 years from now. All right. Um, sometimes you see fads of the day end up in a charter. Now, equal yeah. rights yeah. is not a fad of the day. You know, so I get it. And, and so that's a judgment call you guys have to make. And then I also have to operate with what do you have? And so I kind of work with what you have, what's out there. You'll you'll have the menu in front of you, the okay. a, a and B lists, and and uh, and you'll figure it out. Okay. The last thing, and the same things apply to departments and department heads. You're going to have a whole bunch of things at the beginning about structures and how they're created. We're going to move that other language into the council section where the council addresses reorganizations. But but you have the powers and duties, intents, objectives. How do you create departments? Uh, what are the roles? How do you appoint department heads? That's here. You know, we could easily put the appointment in the mayor section or the council section. Sometimes they're in all the sections. So the appointment is in the mayor section. The approvals in the council section. Then it's not addressed in boards and commissions. I have recommended just put it in the section that is applicable. Department heads get appointed and they get approved. And then a, a member of the public can see in that section how a department head is appointed and approved. It generally says the mayor has appointment authority, but in the section on department heads, this is what the mayor does. This is the vote you need in the council. And so. It's going to be interesting. So okay, we're going to have the chiefs and then do department heads. Oh, the department heads. And the, we got to clarify. That. We have to clarify that. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's a little different. That's a permutation in your town yeah. that doesn't exist. In the library thing, there are a city department of libraries, which is the South Norwalk and, the, and Wall Street, Belden and Avenue. There's a taxing district. And then there. two taxing yeah. districts have libraries. And so. I've learned that. I've learned that. 
So, um, and, the, efficient. And, and then you have so the, the appointment. Let, let me tell you something we found out in this process that people didn't know. Um, does anybody know when the Corporation Council is appointed, how long does the Corporation Council serve for? I think it's at will. Mm -hmm. That's what you think. Yeah. Anybody else? Any guesses? Anybody? They have to be re reappointed, don't they? Two year term. Two year. Yeah. It's a two year term. Is it a two year yeah, term? No one knew that. No, no one knew that. Uh, but we're getting rid of that. It's, it's going to be, be it, it's going to be an at will. It should be at will yeah. to the mayor. Just um, as, they, as I city remember court. when before the council yeah. to be reappointed. Yep. And and so then so that you're going to see the different categories, people appointed by the mayor, con, subject to confirmation, uh for a two year for uh, at, for a uh, for um, at the mayor's pleasure. Those are the chiefs. Then you have a category of two year, four year terms, department heads appointed by the mayor, confirmed by the council. There'll be a delineation of that. So members of the public can look at these lists and see these are how these people are appointed and what time frames they are. This is how they can be fired or how they can be asked to leave. You know, um, can I ask a question on the chief? Well, you don't have it yet. This is gonna be in um, Article 8, eight departments. I don't know when the chief structure was actually confirmed and put in place. They have an ordinance. And it was by ordinance? It's by several ordinances. I've looked at all the ordinances. And, and what chief? The, 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 chiefs, the, the like concept division chief, chief, division chiefs. Yeah. yeah they, um, that it would be good for us to be educated and know that. That's we will actually ask Lisa to speak before the commission and yeah. tell us that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's within the last so, yeah. it's seven years. And you're going to see, you're going to see in my, I don't, I don't have a date in my head, you know, I have some drafting notes that I'm going to include for you. That's all this yellow stuff, which you don't see yet, mm -hmm. which goes through all of the quote department heads, not just the ones that are in the commissions, but the ones that are in ordinance. And you do have advice and consent positions in the ordinances, which is perfectly fine. Uh, in fact, my recommendation would be have most of them in the ordinances. Um, and that advice and consent just carries through. When you create a department head, it's advice and consent for a four-year term, whatever. Uh, but you'll see all those, again, same kind of decisions that you're going to be making with boards and commissions. You should be looking at these departments when, when you get that. Um, um, the bond issue, I think, is just about resolved. Um, uh, we have a provision on bonding of public officials. But I have discovered in the last decade or so that most communities don't bond. Uh, because they have insurance and and uh, and so they don't bond, uh, they just prosecute whatever they do. Um, there's a, some sections on disposal of surplus, which I think can go away, but but that's basically it. And then it goes through the, some of the departments um, and the big debate is how much, there's a lot of yellow here on the controller's office and the tax collector and all that, how much of this stuff really needs to be rely on the special act? I think very little of it, between you and me. Um, or in those cases, I might have very little here and then have, as I do have a section regardless, that are special act provisions um, that we just don't want to get rid of yet and just put them at the back and you know the taxpayer, uh, the tax collector provisions. But I think the basic rules of tax collector, collector operates under are general statutes, frankly. The assessor, general mm -hmm. statutes. Um, and, and so I think it's all the charter really needs to mention. If we're uncomfortable, and I'll talk to the to the court counsel's office and we're uncomfortable, I can put them in the back in the in that volume two, which will be attached, unless you don't want to attach it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, and that's it. So that's kind of where we are. I wanted to give you a, a quick, um, you know, the Carnival Barker approach to uh, those two chapters. And okay. Okay. Are those, That's, the last two? those are the last two, sure. except there will be a, there's a catch all chapter uh, that will talk about um, you want to do a charter revision in two or three years and then thereafter, every five years thereafter, um, and have a few other provisions on when the effective day and stuff like that. There's a okay. chapter I'll create on that. And I will get you the uh, reorganize. I'll do that sooner than later because I'm not changing anything in it, I think. Uh, I'll get you the chapter on taxing districts as soon as I can, probably in the next week. Is that just a function of integrating some of the things that are already going over and you can have it. I'm not going to change much in it, but you'll see the format and how it's structured. Right? So um, let's 
uh, review uh, what we're doing on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. So we're asking for public comments, but are we giving them anything to relate to? Um, There's not much. It's still kind of broad, broad opinions. I would give them. Uh, we're still working on these documents. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we can we can tell the public to take a look at the website and look at all of the documents that have been attached, and we'll see okay. the changes we're making. And I hope on Monday or so to have uh, Monday or Tuesday, let's see how the weekend goes, um, to have red lines of the stuff we worked on today. So it'll be updated right through today. Okay, yeah. so at, at, the, at Wednesday, if they ask us what we're doing on a certain topic, what's the best way to deal with that too? I, I think you say for them, so, so far we have, I mean, look, I think that if they have that kind of question, my normal protocol is, we're, you know, we're just here to hear from you, but if they're asking those kinds of informative they, they questions, asking, yeah. you know, Sorry. then I'd say that, uh, you know, we can talk about, we can summarize some of the things that were being, were being done. I think the general thing is we're reorganizing. I think I can easily, uh, I'll be prepared for it Wednesday night. Um, okay. I'll probably be remote Wednesday night, but I'll be prepared to go down and say, here are the couple of the substantive things in article one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or I, think be the best. I can go through and, and do that. There's not a lot of substance. I mean, we're doing cleanup. We're we're doing uh, uh, we're trying to modernize the language, update the language, mm -hmm. uh, neutralize the language, gender based neutralization of the language, um, and and we haven't touched some chapters. But I I can go so through and give a summary. Let's not give them the idea that we aren't changing anything, and that's one of the biggest issues was with the board of ed. The board of ed, anyway. Um, that we are changing something. So, I mean, I just don't want to give them a, a well, false I'll, I'll be specific on one of the things. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you're you're going to respond, that's in response to a question? In, in response to a question, unless okay. you want me to open up with something. Uh, uh, no, I think I it could be yeah. general. Uh, let them pick the yeah. top. Yeah. Let's yeah. not give them yeah. something yeah. they didn't and think about. I'll try to prepare something. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to and the things that we have had a lot of discussion and, and consensus on, uh, and I think we voted on the two to four the terms, for the mayor. The January date. At the January date and eliminating uh, treasurer and um, selectmen. And, and those are the three. Sure. No, sure. we're staying the sheriff. Okay. For, yeah. Um, sher sheriff and constable. We're, we're still. Yeah, so the list is not a long list, to be honest with you. And yeah. so I think it, it just. And. and uh, and the other one is um, uh, the election starting the first uh, business day of January, the yeah. election. And I think I'll throw in, for example, that we're providing um, capital budget reports will now go to every department in the city. We can say that mm -hmm. it's a substantive change, uh, yeah. really, but it's in the charter. Um, we can talk about the cooperation clauses, not even mention the Board of Ed, that we have the cooperation clauses in there. We have some other things. Can you put that with me together? I told you I would. Yeah. Yeah. You? I'll be happy to. Okay. I told you I'd, I'll try to share it to you before uh, Wednesday. Oh, okay. well, I'll, I'll do my best to try to get that done. Yeah. Uh, I missed the, the meeting on the. Uh, why did we keep the sheriff? The, the sheriff is Bobby Burgess. I understand. That's the answer. Explain that to me. Yeah, well, I, Bobby I, Burgess I, has been sheriff for a decades. long time to do it. Okay. Decades. It's a long time to do it. Yeah. Okay. It, it will happen. All right. That's fine. But a yeah. long time to yeah. do it. Right? Yeah, that's fine. That sums it up, right? <laughs> no, not really. I had two words. What? Huh? Well, pardon? Not really. That doesn't sum it up. I mean, I don't know who Bobby Bridges is. Right. Oh, well, I'm he sorry. came to the hearing last week. That I saw. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's just a long. Time public figure so in, in District Two yeah. for probably fifty years. Oh, it's not longer. If not longer. Yeah. And, and yeah, it's so you wrote in Marshall Dillon. Yeah, and there's been some, you know, things in personal and and they probably just is not the right. Time. Yeah, his life recently passed away. It's not the right time to do that one. The other because one because of 
personal things yeah. uh, and, yeah. the, the, and how long the position is. Respect. respect. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not yeah. after him. I'm just trying to respect understand. Respect for, for, for civic right. participation. Right. I think that yeah. that that is my heart. Yes, oh, I, I'm the same way. I just yeah. Try and spread that love into the corporate world, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, I'll, I'll be out there. I'll do it. No, but I'm seriously, it, it it is it it is a, a kindness. No, I understand. Yeah. Oh yeah, done. Yeah, the other ones are just right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. Anybody want to move to adjourn? Oh no. Let's just keep going. I'll okay. get to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> Second. All right. All those in favor. Uh, Stephen, thanks for joining us. Uh, this, this, yeah, many of you.